Welcome, my friends. Habage here once again, my friends. How y'all doing? Happy Tuesday to you. Hope you're awesome. Man, put a smile on that face. It's sunshiny, chilly. A little chilly, but uh, beautiful outside today. And uh, we got Minecraft. We got so much to do. Let's kick this off by uh, getting the world loaded so we can uh, spawn some zombies here while we're chatting, getting going. Um... Uh, Hello to all the friends and fans. If you're new here, if you've been checking out maybe some YouTube VODs, thanks, YouTube. You guys rock. Uh, keep it coming. Uh, love the comments when they come. So hope to hear more from you. Uh, but your likes, your views, all so greatly appreciated. Start things out with a little intro here. As we're hanging by our zombie farm, we'll get a bit of experience. Hey, we'll be up to level 30 by the time we're done here and uh, can maybe do one more enchant. Maybe get another tool going. Uh, we are in the process of trying to get our uh, humble little world here up to having uh, librarian trades readily available for uh, all the important um, enchantments. Uh, those are, and we got so lucky last big world that, that we actually got to this point. Um, it's probably going to be painful this time, but the, the enchants that we're looking for. Uh, once and this is days away today we're gonna make the the spot where we can take two villagers from far away and start making our own population here for our continent and uh, since we do have a continent we're living on not just a uh, a little island or anything like that we have a mushroom continent that we're gonna get back over to and do our build on today um, we're gonna have uh, lots of need for villagers I, I think you know, we'll spread out some of the, the trading and all that, but as we do builds, if we need to add some life, some personality, we'll just uh, enclose some villagers around the world. Give us uh, give us some life, some folks we can chat with, uh, all that kind of stuff along the way. So, so much to come, uh, but as I kick things off, I actually mentioned in the tweet, I uh, hope it's okay, but uh, Logical Geek Boy, he has inspired these two builds that we're going to be working on over the next few days. Uh, the villager breeder and the um, uh, the villager trading hall. Um, if you go onto his tutorials on YouTube, uh, they're both there. You just got to scroll back a little bit in the the column that has all of the uh, village uh, the I'm sorry uh, farm tutorials. Go back. There's an easier villager trading hall, or easy villager trading hall, and an easy villager infinite breeder. Something. Uh, both of those two are what we're going to basically be going off of. Uh, there are a couple versions back. They still seem to work without too many modifications. You'll see. I'll make lots of mistakes because I don't. I don't just follow the tutorials. I've certainly watched them a million times, uh, and we'll try to uh, try to put them in place in our world. Get an idea for that. Those of you guys who've already been here, you've checked into it before and seen. Uh, kind of what we're thinking, but hopefully we can bring that to life in a good way. All right, um, as we have our few little villager villager zombies, <laughs> and they're not any, they're probably a couple, but uh, we're not doing anything with these guys. Uh, we're just going to chop them when we get down the, down the ladder here. So uh, sit tight for one second. I will be right back, and we'll get this thing going. Welcome. Make yourselves comfy. Get a snack. Get a, a beverage. Uh, stretch out a little bit. We got a lot of work to do today. All right. All right, we are back, and I should add, I'm going to be very burpy. I had awesome, awesome. It got a little later. I was so close to ready to go at 9, uh, but not quite there. Uh, so I took the extra half hour, enjoyed my breakfast, had uh, ham and green pepper with eggs. Oh, so good. Um, and, uh, yeah, green peppers, everybody knows, a little burpy after those. So we'll try to hit the mute spare you guys but uh, apologies if there's little hitches in the conversation as we get going here today get all that settled in stir it up with some coffee yeah we're burping all right uh let's get an iron sword chop some feet here 
upstairs where we were standing. That is a, a villager spawner. We are in the midst of a Mesa gold farm. Uh, found this guy uh, and built it out. Oh, you're going to drop that shirt again, right? I saw you carrying it. 32 levels. And, of course, as always, we teeter ever on the edge. Yeah, look at that. First chain gear. Uh, so what do we do? We <laughs> go up and scrub this. Um, we got leather boots yesterday. We actually took those out of our little collectible chest here. Um, so we'll build up another set just for uh, for decoration. This is purely for fun as we have zombies that are going to be dropping all the various gear. We'll work to build a setup. Uh, I think it's kind of fun. So we're going to do it. I don't care. <laughs> just kidding. I totally care what you guys got going on. Here, let's get this guy. A little voluntary zombie. Uh, I'm going to throw these in here. I'm going to throw these over here because we got a box for them. Bonk. Um, yeah. Uh, so for folks who don't know, zombie spawner up at the top of the ladder where we were hanging out. Uh, water shoots them over, drops them down this chute that we glassed in. Uh, not that we can be down here and watch them falling. Uh, but it, it expresses the idea pretty well, I think. What did I... I put in my golden apples, not my uh, magma creams. All right, let's get back home. Uh, we got an enchant to throw down. We've got a... Here, before we do that, I got to get my chat window up on top of my OBS. We can see you all. How you doing? Stop on in, say hello. I know we're early today. It's probably going to be pretty quiet. And you guys are going to listen to a lot of me, but we could go. Uh, this could is kind of carved out as the long day. Uh, it's the best day of my week uh, to kind of lock in and uh, let it go. So uh, maybe, I mean, four, four for sure. Uh, maybe six, maybe seven. We'll see. Uh, tried to try to get that early start going. Uh, Nine thirty a.m. my time. I'm out here in uh, outside of Denver, Colorado. And speaking of Colorado, I would be terribly remiss if I did not shout out uh, a Colorado great of recent memory, uh, McKinley Wright the Fourth. Uh, he doesn't know me, but sitting in those bleacher seats watching all those basketball games in his career uh, as a buff. Uh, was an absolute delight, uh, fantastic point guard, and we were were very much feeling the lack of his presence. He and uh, and Evan Batty, uh, their leadership on and off the court uh, made such a difference. And we're seeing what you know, talent minus uh, minus some of that personal uh, ownership of of kind of. Hey, I'm gonna. This is my team. I'm. I'm here. I'm gonna drive uh, what uh, what we do on and off the court. Uh, this year we haven't really had as much of that. Now we had a great win over the weekend against Stanford. That was nice. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a little little disappointing after a recent success uh, this year. And I think you know I think that the team's got a lot of great pieces. They can come together, but uh, somebody's got to step up and and. Uh, inspire the way uh, the way Kin uh, McKinley Wright did. I don't know if uh, at this point he's still going with Kin, but uh, that's how we fondly remember him. And I, I again didn't know the guy, never had a conversation or anything like that, but uh, always felt a connection. He's a Minnesota dude, uh, Robbinsdale, I believe, and um, has a just amazing story. Um, both he and Evan, it, which goes a long way to say, you know, uh, you you already get into sports having faced some adversity in your life. Uh, it's going to make all the difference. Now, I guess for Evan, that was uh, a little after the fact. He uh, he faced his in, uh, adversity after having just gotten to college. I believe that was the timing on it. Um, but uh, today it's a celebration because McKinley Wright, um, got his first career NBA start as a member of the Dallas Mavericks last night. Uh, shout out to him. I I didn't watch it. <laughs> Don't make it a habit of watching Dallas Mavericks games. Um, 
But uh, score sheet said he got 20 minutes of playing time. Uh, they recently just had a trade, and there's an injury. Uh, so he's getting an, an opportunity to step up, and I know – I know McKinley, uh, seeing, seeing any time on the floor, he's going to seize every moment. Um, but it was great to see his tweet uh, this morning saying, hey, this was my first uh, first NBA start, and I definitely went and checked it out. So shout out to the Buffs. Uh, go McKinley Wright, the fourth. All the best for your future career. One thing I did see, uh, they said that in a trade of Spencer Dinwiddie, another former Buff, um, help make room for him. I didn't know they were they were playing together on the maps. That's that's pretty awesome. So there you go. Shout out to the buffs. All right, we need to gear up and get going. And one thing we need to do to kick things off today is start with a little bit of building material thought we we aren't just you know abundantly loaded with stuff we used a lot of sandstone so far and that was great uh glass will obviously be a factor uh because we're making a greenhouse among other things so that will be important it would be cool if we had a bunch of blackstone, maybe. Um, but I'd still like something to use in it. I don't want it to be too dark and heavy. Um, also, I don't... Did we use... I think we used, like, modified deep slate on the the last one. Necrophagia tacos. Um, breeder. And I... I it was jungle wood uh, and maybe deep slate tiles. So I, I don't want to do exactly that, right? We want to mix it up a little bit. Um, but we we haven't gotten many, if any of those. Let's move this over here just so I have it with the other kind of brick block stuff. Um, So what I'm thinking is we're going to kind of do a some kind of, of, of substantial block, blackstone or some kind of stone out on the front. And this is not where we're building this at all, but just to, to kind of lay it out. So we'll be, we'll be out a ways. Imagine this is the big uh, cliff down at that end of the island. Uh, so it reaches up kind of like this mushroom, right? So out here... We're going to make kind of a, a pair of, uh, kind of an arch, right? A uh, mini tower type thing, but uh, an arch that our boats can come in and unload, right? We can bring in the villagers, close gates behind us so they don't get back out, open it up, and then they'll be able to go into our, uh, our farm area, right? And the farm is going to be kind of right in this area, up close to the, the cliff face, and it will be the the nine by nine enclosed uh, irrigated farm where our villagers can uh, grow carrots and potatoes to their heart's content, trade them back and forth. It will be amazing. They'll they'll love it. They'll trade, and uh, they will have a bountiful bountiful family. Uh, their descendants will be more than the grains of sand on the beach or whatever it was. Right? Uh, they'll get all that. And they will, um, each time they have a child, the child will run out through the little gate, right? This is the, the logical geek boy uh, breeder. So we've got a farmer and another villager or two fil farmers. doesn't matter. We're not going to trade with them. Uh, but they'll be doing their thing with the crops. Um, from them, uh, babies will be generated. They will go out through a little gateway here towards uh, available but unoccupied beds. Drop down the chute. The chute will go back in underneath the cliff face here, right? So they're going to be now inside the cliff. Uh, they'll come out about here. There will be a channel and a water column, and they will shoot up the water um, to a holding area that's going to be up high enough so we can then run a train out to our future villager trading hall. So that's kind of the layout, but we're going to be in the water, um, 
And this farm area, I think, will be largely glass enclosed, right? We want it to be kind of like a, a conservatory, a, a greenhouse almost, right? It's open to the light so that the plants can grow well, right? That's that's part of it. This is a very much a modern and fantastical uh, world, but it can have older elements. And I think the, the kind of outer tower thing might be, you know, like, hey, you... you build a fancy house right sometimes you put a tower on the front of it even though it's a modern building uh you can have some of those elements but uh clean lines you know glass uh, and uh stuff inside to to keep this a well-lit area where the crops can grow and the two villagers are hanging out um and then this will all be enclosed but i think we'll We'll maybe face the cliff going up and then build a tower above a uh, little bit, maybe lighthouse inspired um, where it's on the end of the coast, right out there down by the Harbor. It would make sense to have a, a navigation beacon light kind of thing down there. Um, obviously we're a far way away from beacons, uh, shooting to the sky or anything like that, but we could put some, some light up at the top, um, and just kind of build it up like a, uh, enhanced edge of the cliff. And that's where I think maybe some stone brick would come in handy. And outside of the coal, it's probably our, our most available, Uh, new resource maybe maybe we could do a bit of smooth sandstone uh, just as like an accent with stone brick which I know we're using a lot of it in the nether but I think this would be different but I think especially building up the uh, the cliff face, stone brick, and of course with stone brick you can also put the mossy so down around the water. Uh, some of these kind of things make make a lot of sense, right? And I think we can, um, I think we can mossify our own cobblestone now that we have so much moss. Which, by the way, did I bring that back? Oh, ho, ho, look at me. Uh, so let's clean this stuff a little bit here and there. We do have uh, some coal blocks, so cooking things doesn't terrify me too much. Drop you off. The cream. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. This is just checking here because I, I know there's. Oh, yeah, just one to one. So mossy cobblestone, we can have endless mossy cobble. And can we have mossy cobble bricks the same way? Look at that. Fantastic. That is so good. Um, just out of further curiosity, if we grab these, we can make step slabs and walls of mossy and step stones and walls of uh, mossy cobble as well. Really good stuff. Awesome. Uh, we do need a storage spot for our moss, which is nearly limitless at this point. Um, we've got bone meal, we've got hose, we can, we can spread bone meal, we can use it, or moss, we can even use it down in the, uh, the basement to clear away deep slate, converting it to moss and then, uh, breaking it with the hose, uh, speed up any... I guess we haven't slept in a while. Oh no. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're a bit, we're a bit prepared. These clowns. All right. Well, that's a little a little more for our future brewing. Is this yeah? Look at my memory. I'm doing it. All right. We got. Uh, we need another chest. This will work perfectly uh, to store our moss. And I don't. Th I don't think we want to make it all out of mossy, but certainly uh, kind of climbing up those walls. Um, little bit of uh, Game of Thrones Iron Islands, right? That just craggy sea coast, stone, weathered, always wet kind of feel. Um, I think that could be, it'd be pretty cool. So if we want to do a lot of that, I think we're going to need glass and stone. Let's kick things off here. I oh I forgot to sleep. It's like I thought I dealt with all of you. Aw. 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 Dude. You got stuck. I thought I got the guy coming from that way. All right, come here. Did get us to 33, so it's good because I was planning on cooking some stone and doing some enchanting. Uh, we also have harvest of mushrooms, I believe. Look at all these arrows everywhere. What a mess. All right. Also, Scash, my friend. I uh, I checked. I didn't see you. I don't know um, if I just missed it or what happened, but uh, I didn't see Scash on this morning. He said he was going live uh, overnight in the middle of my night. Um, but I was looking, so I don't know. Maybe maybe on a break or something. Maybe he just went short. Anyway. We're supposed to be, let's do this, this, that, and we were already on track here. So we're just going to keep those going. And again, we'll have to re rotate in glass as well, but while we're... Here we got an axe and a half. Let's go oh, sleep, 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 sleep for the next phantoms. The problem we've been spending so much time in the nether and um, under gold mines and stuff, you lose track of day night cycles. All right, now we can go. Let's feed one more time. Oh, and for folks who missed yesterday, let's introduce our new friends. This is Natalie Cole, uh, singer, uh, fabulous musician. She is our uh, our first horse of the the world, and because she needed a partner, um, and also celebrating a birthday yesterday when we got the horses, uh, the man himself. Uh, the legendary Bob Marley is our other horse. So we are well equipped going forward. And now we just need to... Just need to jump. There we go. How y'all doing? Good morning. Happy breakfast. No, don't, I wouldn't worry about putting on extra pounds. It's fine. You're, you'll work them off. It'd be a problem. We do have... A, did I see another baby brown in there? Uh, that would kind of... 
uh, confirm what we suspected. I know the adult brown is in there, uh, but we didn't see. I noticed that one as an adult. And, of course, the question then is, did it get hit by lightning at some point? Or was it born by chance from two red parents? But I think in the middle here there was another. Yeah, there's a little brown one. So um, long suspected, unproven. We could have looked at the wiki, but we hadn't. Uh, didn't didn't really bother with it. Um it is possible if you just keep hammering uh, red mushrooms, uh, you can get a rare brown one uh, just through breeding. So there you go. Uh, we found our first one up under that mushroom hanging out after after we'd already explored a little bit, uh, brought it down, and then uh, bred a red and a brown together as often as we could until we got a brown. And... Uh, that brown over there became uh, Jenny1984, and we also have uh, Sparky, who was the uh, the brown cow. Uh, sorry, my friend, you're you're on the wrong side of the fence. Um, so those those are special, and uh, they're. Their one and only offspring is Charlie, who has now grown up as well. But uh, we don't breed those. They just have a, a nice little sanctuary. Got some trees, got some flowers, hay, a pond to swim in, or trough to drink from, hay bales to munch on. It's a pretty good life over there. Uh, we did put up a beehive, but I don't know that we've had any wandering bees happen upon it yet. Um, kind of an experiment as we breed our bees back at the farms. Uh, do any strays happen upon this area? Be kind of cool if they did. Uh, it is just purely by chance. We're not worried about it. Uh, they wouldn't add any real benefit over here. And I certainly have plenty of bees to get honey and uh, bees, what, honey wax from. Honeycomb. Honey wax? You guys know what I mean. I mean, we do make candles out of it, so it's kind of beeswax. It's understandable uh, to be a little... A little confused i think i understand why i'm confused uh so now i get oh maybe maybe the brown adult bred with the uh, uh, i guess that's that one just grow up uh so yeah scratch that we did have a brown adult in the pen uh the results are now questionable Uh, with our browns over there, we should get up to level 36. So we're going to get a bunch of enchanting. And as soon as we get done with these red, uh, overcrowded, we're going to go. That's per, uh, oh, five adults still. We only need four. Two, two couples to look after all the kids. It's perfect. All right. Now, uh, another thing we're going to have to do today is chests here. In fact, pretty much right now. Oh, dang it. But unfortunately, right now, we're probably wasting coal because that took a long time. So we got to go throw more stone in the cookers to, or more cobble in the cookers to make stone. We do have one silk touch pick at the moment, uh, but we have no mending and no replacements. And at least for now, we need that for coal and redstone and all that when we're out on our adventures, uh, getting XP and stuff. Let's dump those, get the stone. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. All right. All right. Then we'll just keep dumping stone in there. Hopefully that'll be enough axe. All right. Let's go get the brown mushrooms.
Ooh, so excited. Two two advan two enchantments to start three to start off the day if we get up to thirty six. Uh, our regular cows haven't quite got there. We just imported them a couple days back. And so they're just kind of settling in and getting up to speed. We we haven't needed to come in and uh, population control their their habitat. Whereas these guys way too overcrowded, right? It's a it's a well-being of the animals kind of situation. We got to keep them comfortable and healthy. Uh, and overcrowding is is no way for a mushroom to live its life. So we'll end it. <laughs> uh, but we will honor their sacrifice for their future generations, right? That's how, you know, ask a parent, what, what do you want? You want to uh, make a better life for your kids, right? I don't know. I'm not a parent. That's what I've heard, though. Oh. See, it's when the babies get on your ankles like that that you start missing. Ooh, did you see that one jump up? It's up there. Stop it! You guys are being like hero uh, human cattle shields for your parents. Maybe I've been going about this all the wrong way. <sighs> Got that one. Second try. Someday we will have mending axe, and then we won't have to worry about this. Uh, by then we'll also have loads of experience, I would imagine, and we won't have to worry about this. Did you quit pushing me? Stop pushing. Anybody who pushes gets the axe. Well, you didn't really push, but you did put your butt in my face. All right. Getting a little elbow room now. Oh, you're so cute. Grow big and strong. Forget all about this day. Just enjoy the sunshine, the mushrooms, your neighbor cows and red mushrooms. A grand life here. All right. Down to the hot corner. Oh. oh, look at that. Moving target. Is that four? No. It's all right. You were closest. All right. Now we got four. Four adults looking after all the kids, doing a fine job of it. And <laughs> then right beside them, we eat a steak or two. Definitely, definitely uh, some mixed messages. All right, you guys just get to eat. And look, they got grass because they're normal cows. Uh, the other cows want the mycelium underfoot, the mushrooms. Uh, except for those. They they got grass, too. They got some mud, though, some water. Hey, Charlie, how you doing? They got flowers around, uh, some birch trees, one that didn't grow. It's beautiful, 
beautiful little habitat. All right, let's go back and check our stone again. 37 levels. Actually, we need to drop off this wheat. It's kind of nice not having the chucks right here because I don't get stuck with eggs every time. All right, not much wheat left. We do have hay bales aplenty, and we also have our wheat field, which, even though it isn't done yet, is getting close. All right. Hey, my buddy, Israel is cool. How you doing? Hope life is treating you good, and happy Tuesday to you. I heard, uh, heard some scary, terrible news, uh, kind of from your neck of the woods. Um, man, the uh, the Turkey Syria earthquake stuff. Wow, uh, hearts out to the uh, the victims. I know they're not watching YouTube videos right now, but oh my gosh. That looked awful. And I know that part of the world, you know, subject to them, uh, you have multiple plates all moving around and coming together kind of right in that area. Uh, that will uh, tend to cause some rocking and rolling. But, uh, man, you saw some of those just like, you know, uh, brick and mortar, stone and mortar apartment building looking things that were just piles of rubble. Oh, scary. Yeah, man, I missed you. I hope you're doing good, though. Uh, our world is taken off, and uh, we got big plans for today, but you're just in time for stone cooking and enchanting. Top activities. Oh, we're going to need more. Dunk. Oh, and I kind of messed that up because I should have grabbed out the others. Quick. Quick. Never mind. They weren't full. All right, enchanting. Is that what we're up to now? We're good. So what all what all you got going on? Uh, last time we talked, you had vacation done. Uh, getting back to it. All right, we have. I got to double check some of this stuff. Our fishing rod still needs lure. It's it's a low priority. Our chest piece is a low priority because we already have mending on this gold one. And it's been doing pretty good for us, right? Uh, until we can get the mending books, there's not a lot of point in us switching over to diamond. So uh, we'll kind of keep that going. If there's nothing better and this is something really good, we'll go ahead and take it, of course. But uh, our pants we've repaired uh, once but they're still holding up pretty good. Our helmet we just repaired, and we actually have our real helmet over here, if I can get into the chest. So this one is, is identical. It has Unbreaking in Prot 4. It also has Res 3 and Aqua Affinity. I don't wear it all the time now, uh, except if we're out in the boat diving on wrecks or whatever, because... Uh, this is the one we'll ultimately want to put mending on and keep, so I don't want to waste extra and chance repairing it um, until we get to that point. So it's kind of uh, there in the wait. But uh, if you're wondering why are we not uh, not trying for Res 3 or Aqua Affinity, because we already got them. Um, we do have an extra pick. We've got an Unbreaking 3 and an Efficiency 4 Unbreaking 3. Uh, we have our Silk Touch. It's all good to go, except for um, the mending, of course. So if we use this one all the way down, we'll just store it and wait for a mending book and then repair it back up. This one would need Efficiency for Silk Touch. That would be the best combo because we've got a couple of those. Um, so we're just looking, looking for good tools. Uh, we do have a Silk Touch uh, Efficiency for Shovel. Um, and we've got this on breaking three. When this wears down, we'll repair it with that uh, and get that one up. But uh, another another shovel or an axe or something like that, the, they don't mean as much to me until we get uh, the mending. But the picks, uh, getting more silk touch picks would be fantastic. Um, all right. 
Oh, I think we we know. Oh, swords we didn't even talk about, but uh, that's not what we need. Not that. Uh, fire prop, we've already got on the pants, so we'll probably never take that. Unbreaking on a bow. Um, our bow right now is is pretty awesome for early. We do have a flame book or a flame bow we can throw on it uh, to use for the dragon flight, so we're pretty well set. Um, if, again, nothing better comes along, we can use um, use some of those enchants, but... Lots of sweeping edge today, I guess. All right, well, uh, we'll go ahead and take unbreaking on the pick. It's just unbreaking. Um, got a couple of those now. But we we can keep rolling pick pieces. Um, got a lot of diamonds, and we stand to get a lot more. We do have our Fortune 3 set up. Are we looping this real? I saw you long time no see. I, I welcomed you back, man. How you doing? Tell me, tell me some stuff. What do you got? Uh, what's up? What's up with uh? I th let me check. It's been a really, really long time since you told me. Um, basketball, table tennis. Were those the two sports? Oh, come on. Enough of that. Unbreaking on a sword. Interesting. Ooh, uh, that might be it. Let's check the... No, we don't want thorns. Channeling, and it's handy for making brown mushrooms, but we don't need those anymore. Oh, we haven't even checked the stupid fishing rod. Uh, we already have luck of the sea, so there we go. All right, well, we'll take a infinity bow. Ooh, not too bad. Uh, we'd really need a power five, uh, but we could stack that with with that much extra stuff. Uh, we could stack two power fours, put a flame on there. So that's not a bad spare bow to have. It goes down here uh, in Bow City. <laughs> I almost store. I almost stored the bow we're using. All right, one more shot here. Sword, sharp four. Uh, we already have sharp five book though, right? Efficiency four pick. Unbreaking armor. Again, same same deal there. It's not too peeling. Our our fishing rod already has mending and unbreaking on it, so we're good there. Just looking for a lure three. Uh, and did we look here? Prop three. Nope. Nothing. Nothing we need there. So we'll take the efficiency four on this pick. Oh, so good. It's only missing a little bit of efficiency, but that is fantastic. All right, we're in business now. Um, and, of course, now we need some more levels. So this stuff goes back. Uh, we got to check our stone again. I think we should be still... Just fine there. Okay, uh, so we did build up a little bit more stone that we can use for our stone brick bits. Um, I think next we're going to want to cook some smooth sandstone.
That's almost done. We can do a little bit of cooking there. And then we'll have to get glass as well, right? So much to so much to stockpile here. Um speaking of time killing though, let's do this. Here we go. Another puffer fish start things off. I think that's three we have now. So water breathing potions will soon be coming. Um, as we all saw from the previous water temple, though, uh, in the last in Necrophagia Taco, they're pretty dangerous spots. Uh, obviously, it wasn't as dangerous as the raid ended up being. Uh, we'll definitely not make the same mistake with the raids, but... Um, There we go. Uh, what that fish was at, or the steak was at like 10, right? So that might be done now. Two. All right, we can just chill here for a sec. Do. And the fish are the fish are good because we need to uh, have a bunch of raw to get cats. Right? We haven't yet gotten any cats. Uh, don't need them quite as much around the base here because there's no creepers to speak of. Um, we might just get a random one at some point, but pretty rare. About the only the only significant random mobs we've seen, we've gotten some drowned showing up when we've been over in the mushroom sections and that's a little unsettling it's in part why uh we want to hang out over in our uh zombie farm area when we start and stop going breaks and all that kind of stuff because it's just safer uh, the only drawback there is it takes a little bit to get there and back uh me going on a, a couple minute break and hanging out with some zombies while it does get us uh xp it takes about 10 15 minutes for that whole process so uh, it's kind of kind of nice to mix things up, especially t on a day like today when I think we're going to go for multiple hours. That's why we've been uh, been about forty five minutes now and haven't even uh, worried that we we have done nothing yet. On look at this guy, I assume that's the sides of a tropical fish, but uh, it looks like eyes, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like a little face, like a frog or something, sitting in the water and just looking at us with his little black eyes? It's crazy. Sink, float. Come on. Come on. Uh, in real life, otherwise, I don't. I don't have a ton of patience for fishing. I love boating. Um, and I don't mind fishing. I, I enjoy it, but we got to go check out what this is. It's a puffer fish, I think. Or is it an axolotl? I don't have my respiration helmet on. Puffer fish. <laughs> I told you they were they were kind of uh, like real puffer fish. They uh, they swim around like actual fish, and then if you get too close, they puff. Uh, but he looked sort of axolotly, and I, I was wondering if he'd come up out of that cave. All right. Uh, so we're getting our smooth sandstone going there, and then here we're going to switch out and start making glass. But we need these to go all the way down to do so. So, uh, 20 pieces of stone more. Probably
problem with fishing also uh, in Minecraft is plenty of time for drinking coffee. Get all caffeinated up here. <laughs> Come on, fishies. Gotta get some bait on this. Uh, that's the lure part. Now, oddly, from our luck of the sea, we, we haven't gotten the trash true to form, right? We talked about that once we found this fishing rod. That um, luck of the sea is more about not getting trash than truly getting the, the lucky items. Saddles, enchanted books that kind of stuff but uh other enchanted fishing rods um but uh all the same you're, you're eliminating a bunch of different possibilities on each fish uh so you can have fish and you can have uh better stuff right um uh the lure a chant will simply make those those hits come more quickly oh now look at him he's just coming back to gloat I got you. I'm a puffer fish. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, run away. Guess that's my hook. I was looking beyond that and like, wait, is there really a broken portal out there? I just haven't noticed. No, they added a, a hook to the bobber thing. I don't think oh there we go. We got something. We'll let the anticipation build. Was it about twenty pieces of stone that we had before we were gonna switch over to glass? Catch one more here. We get lure two. Uh, I think we'll scrub that. We want we want top lure, and I don't need to keep adding. Oh, look at that! Almost got us. Uh, almost got us taken care of. Uh, no way. Was it twenty before, and we just? Now we're getting to 15. That doesn't seem right. Uh, let's do... Oh, I don't have the sand yet. Shh, run! That's not sand. Damn it! That's not a chest. Glass there. And then we can top you off to keep cooking stone while these guys cook glass. And then back over here. Got a new accent. And I just think these look nice. They're they're much more blast resistant. Those kind of look nice. If you know if we've got corners or whatever and we make just um, panels of smooth sandstone or something, that would look pretty cool. I think. So that's what we'll do. Uh, also we got another enchant to do. Should we go uh, go Skyrim Lunar Forge enchanting? Let's see if we can get the strike harder when the moon's out. Silliness. So fishing. Fishing at dusk should be great fishing time. It's fish getting all those insects. Uh, since we won't be getting any animals today and no names or anything like that, uh, of the birthdays, uh, the the prominent one on the uh, Encyclopedia Britannica This Day in History page was Charles Dickens. Uh, shout out, Chuck. Um, 
Uh, Dickens, just a monster. I know the work can be a little tough sometimes to swallow, but, um, you know, give it a, give it a chance. The, the characters and remember, even if the language is a little bit archaic and not, not natural to our tongue, he was writing for a mass modern audience at the time, right? That he wasn't highbrow writing. He was writing in, there's a saddle in these uh, newspapers that were exploding in popularity and providing serialized stories, much like our, uh, you know, long running TV show series, uh, whether it's Boba Fett that you're waiting for the next installment of, or Game of Thrones or anything like that. Um, that was the, the embodiment. Um, mass media newspapers providing uh the latest weekly edition of uh great expectations or oliver twist or any of those and oliver inside certainly uh, an acknowledgement to charles dickens um a story of the orphan ne'er do well good on. hey scash what's up my friend i was just saying i i looked i don't know if i was just being blind did you go today i, I was looking for your stream i didn't see it before i started Maybe you just wrapped up early or something. I don't know. I tried to check you out, dude. Maybe you just decided you didn't need to. Oh, dude, you didn't need to go 10 hours today? <laughs> you were a normal human? That's understandable. How was the Stardew, though? That's good to hear. I was glad to hear people playing some Stardew. Just... Talking up some Charles as we cook glass and stone. And sandstone. Oh, not right on. Hey, there you go. Ooh, a bow. Well, uh, I, I'm glad you're doing good. Uh, I'm glad nothing, uh, nothing got in the way of that. Let's tap that or top that off. And we'll just keep... Loading up on these. Almost done there. Stack of smooth. Absolutely. No, you are you are totally You know my take on that. If if you're just doing this for the money and you're not already a celebrity, you're in the wrong line. Do it, do is it because it's what you want to love. <laughs> it's what you want to love? Do it because it's a game you love, uh, and you'd be doing it anyway, and then if the people come and want to hang out and watch you and enjoy what you have to say, awesome, right? Um, otherwise, you're not doing anybody any favors. Exactly. No, you're right. And and your audience is going to know if you're um if you're enjoying it or not. We got a couple unbreaking bows. That is fantastic. Yeah, it's still I I've watched some streams. To me it it doesn't seem uh I mean no big shocker here. It's it doesn't really seem like my jam, but uh, then multiplayer typically is my jam. So there you go. Um, I think I think we'll see where this coal's at. We might be might be good on these two. Maybe we'll start splitting back off into glass. We've got... <sighs> if we were to do... Just a 9x9 nine nine alone, so just covering the top is 81 pieces. Uh, then we're going to want to have sides several blocks high. Um, all that... All that good stuff. I think I think we're we're doing pretty well here on glass, but we'll always always need glass, right? Whether it's a, a new portal or whatever. 
Um, but I do think when this drops off, we'll switch back over. All right, hey, let's do another our another next enchant, right? Take a look at least. Oh, not bow, fishing on. Breaking, we got a few of those now. Uh, again, looking for lure three on the rod, on breaking on a tool. Sweeping edge again. It is the day of the sweeping edges. Uh, fire prod on the chest. Be something good. Um, I guess we can scrub this if just unbreaking. What do we already have? Breaking, unbreaking. I think take back what XP we can get from that. All right, and we don't need that. Uh, nice. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of fixers in this world, right? Everybody's gonna fix Shane. Um, I, I just gotta make them want to be fixed, right? Uh, I think people prefer watching multiplayer because it's real reality TV, and the single player is predictable. But when you're playing with others that have personality, nothing goes according to plan. Uh, kind of Minecrafty, right? You know, we can have the best plans ever, and uh, finding whatever it is we're looking for, or uh, chaotic other events coming in, it always keeps you on your toes. I think that's great, and I don't think there's a whole lot of point in shifting the sand around. Uh, it'll continue to cook in these two. Uh, but maybe we're best to just hold on to the block of coal in the other. Um, get what glass we can. In fact, I don't know. Let's just uh, let's just call this good. All right. Now we have got I'm a little curious about this. If we do this Never mind. Can't do that. You who are not the moss. Can do that. Let's do two. Let's do four. Oh, I'm full. I was like, I don't know why that didn't come. That's why. And there. Dun 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 dun. Uh, I thought you were here for the big planning session yesterday. Uh, don't worry though. 
<laughs> you got got plenty of time for today's projects. Uh, I don't know why that's just in there. Did we seriously only get one stack of smooth sandstone? Oh, no, there's another one over here. Uh, we'll let this finish going. Uh, we should should just get that done before we eat up all the coal. Uh, yeah, uh, don't worry, it won't be too long. I don't remember when uh, when you were out though, so I thought you were uh, maybe around for that. <laughs> it's not okay. And I don't remember when people were here for what parts of a six-hour episode yesterday. Kidding. Kidding, of course. All right, we got steaks. Oh, you know what we need to do before we really get dug in? We need to... Um... We need to improve the storage uh, by the moose. Did you see the horses? Did you meet the horses? Were you here? Natalie Cole? She's the fast one. Bob Marley's back over with the kid. Uh, where'd that egg come from? You, I suspect. Why are you leaving your eggs all over the place? They're Chucko. Finally get rid of this. And I guess we'll do sixes. So... Uh, at some point, we got to do chucks again, but we don't have a real direct need for them. All right, then we can go... Steaks, and this is kind of all duplicated between these two sides, right? So we got tons of overflow. This will become... Uh, you know... We're not going to exceed all those. Let's put this off to the side for now. We'll make a chuck box. And we can even do all of this. In there for the next setup. Then we can have food. Food in one box and steaks, leather. And we got tons of overflow for steaks and leather over there. All right, so that solves that. Now we can come back up here. How was Tuesday, by the way? Anything I need to... Uh... Is it going to be a good one? I hope so. Sounds like it was fun. If you got to play some Stardew Valley, 
That sounds great. Um, I didn't know until after the stream yesterday about the earthquakes, which sounded just terrible. Uh, so that was kind of a bummer to find out. Uh, we'll save some hay bales, but I think we'll take... Eh, that, some of this, we got so much steak now, these eggs, these seeds, um, other than just chucking them in the sea, like we gotta, gotta figure out something for the mushrooms. Uh, so, yeah, I, I was glad to, uh, not glad, but at least I'm at least happy to be aware of the suffering that, that happened uh, because of the earthquakes and not just oblivious to it. Um, because I'm going to be in total news blackout the next, like, three days. Uh <laughs> It's just, it's not worth it during State of the Union time in the U.S. to be anywhere near a TV or a media outlet. People lose their absolute freaking minds, and it is awful. So, yeah, I won't be, uh, I know what the weather's supposed to be like going, <laughs> going through. Tomorrow we might get a little snow. Um, Thursday's going to be kind of chilly. The weekend's going to be beautiful. That's all I need to know. Um Oh, we're not gonna gonna subject ourselves to all that nonsense. Um. All right, I got tools. Uh, I think we're pretty well set there, especially with our new pick. Did we finish loading up the Ender Chest? It's looking good. Let's get some logs. Uh, I'll take two stacks of spruce since it's what we have. We're going to have to go wood chopping again, but uh, if we need pilings, docks, gates, all that kind of stuff, we'll use spruce. All right. Um, we will need a couple other items, which I'm kind of getting ahead of myself on, but it is... It should be plenty. Uh, I'll take that just in case. Carrots. How are we doing? Ooh, perfect. Um, assuming we have some extra out of two stacks of logs, we can make our composter. Uh, we can make a crafting table. It wouldn't be terrible to have a stone cutter. But I think we can. I think we can get by if we need. If we find like, oh yeah, we're gonna do a whole bunch of decorative work that needs precision, and we don't want to have a waste uh, from extra stairs or something like that. We can either come back and get the one we have, or the iron to make a new one. So I think we're we're pretty good um, because we've kind of come to the spot, and I don't want to stop in the middle of it. I think I'm gonna pause right here real quick. Uh, I will be right back. I've already worked through the coffee and uh, need to refresh that. going to step up, stretch my legs a little bit. Uh, we'll come back. As I said, I think today is the day we may go long. We'll see how long this build takes and um, what, how far, where we are at, what we're going to do if we, uh, if we get into any laying out of or gathering materials for uh, the trading hall. But we got to get the breeder going and go get villagers and all that first. So lots to do. Uh, we'll see you back here in just a second. And no, we're not going to the goblin farm on this one. Too much time wasted. I'll be right back.
Okay. Well, sometimes I step away and uh, we end up with all kinds of people. I guess today was the opposite. Uh, hopefully they'll be back. Love that. Otherwise, we got stuff to do. Everybody's like, oh, we're building? Okay, I'm out. Um, I guess let's sleep. Get our bed. And uh, as, even though we have the portal and everything, well, let's use the portal. It's so close. I was thinking about having it. It would be nice to have a boat over there, but check out our maps. We only got two. Ooh, get slimes hopping. For everybody who has tuned in and has been checking, um, this is this is kind of where I think we're going to build. We're going to um, extend out here, so we'll have kind of like a double tower arch type deal. Uh, something decorative and nice that uh, allows us to park a boat with villagers inside it. The gates go across the outside, outer end. Uh, the boat comes in, a little parking area, shallow, where we can break it and the villagers won't drown. Uh, they can walk up some stairs and we'll come into this area, which will be a 9 by 9 and we'll probably come uh, back pretty far, you know, up to some of this substantial cliff area. Um, and then the beds and all will be enclosed back inside in the space that goes uh, back and then the uh, water elevator will shoot up or let them swim up so that they can float to the surface and uh, pop out into the top of the tower here i think this mushroom is likely going to be doomed although um it could maybe stay if we cheated over a little bit let's go With this as our center line, maybe one over. Let's do that. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I want this to be our maybe even this let's make this our water shoot spot and build everything off of it right so this is 14, 13, 17, 90, and it's 14, 13 that matters, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this should be... should be all right, I think. Okay, so we are on the outside here, and let's, apologies for the, the numbers screen, but. Okay, 
I think. <sighs> it's all right. Uh, but I think that's going to be our shoot. I wasn't excited about gravel right there. Uh, that's okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, are you angry? Is he worth double the prices? Okay. Hey, uh, well, they, that, that's fine then, right? You know, hey, if, and if they're growing and, um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, this is going to be the wall. Floor, uh, floor may actually be. Bit different, but I'd like to get like to get the chest in at least, um, or a spot for the ender chest that I don't have to just constantly break. Uh, that isn't just a total pain in the butt. But I think. One, two, three, four. So this is our it's our water shoot. There. Okay. And here, nicely, they the blocks don't turn back because it's not into mushrooms yet. Some of these will. It's cool. All right, I think I think we're good there. Um, let's finish. Finish up all the farm floor first. I don't know that this will ever really matter, but we can do, eh, you know, oh, get up there. All right, now we don't have to worry about, <laughs> about drowning. That will get covered, don't worry. Uh, that's all good. All right, now we need... Oh, I didn't get more... Cobble. It's probably okay for a minute. Let's work on this stuff now. So, these two... And then... Most definitely all of this, and you guys have seen this. I don't see a whole lot of reason to change up the uh, layout too much. It's functional, and it works. I 
think we want to come out again. Because we want enough for the gates and steps, not to mention parking. Fact, let's go let's go one more. Alright. Um Some of this is going to definitely get tweaked uh, for decorative purposes, but for the moment, uh, it'll just help us kind of see the see the shape, and then we can modify as needed. So this is the area here that I'm talking about becoming an arch, right? Something around because um, it'll just be enclosed, and I think you know something facing out to the sea that's. Uh, Kind of imposing and, and building up towards a taller tower up on the hillside would be pretty cool. Um, then this area is going to be kind of the conservatory greenhouse, right? And that's going to have all the glass in it and uh, allow the sunlight in to build these crops, right? So... All of this space uh, gets enclosed, and this is our home for our two primary villagers, right? They come and chill out in here, uh, live their lives, grow their carrots, potatoes. Yeah, oh, oh it's cash. I, I, sorry, I'm catching back up. Um... I'm sure some people are, right? That's just human nature, you know? Especially people that have used them for a long time and are like, I appreciate what you do, but I want uh, want to keep paying what I've been paying, right? It's a great premium product and all that, but... Uh, I don't want to change, right? Um, change is tough. All right. We're going to need all these things. Crafting table. Oh, I didn't. Well, I guess we don't really need the, the stone cutter. Um, but I would... Like to do... One eight. We want one and eight. Oh, what? What the? Never the best to try to do this while floating, I guess. Come on, get up there. Get. There we go. There, another set. And then underwater here. I think this will work. Yeah, that's deep enough. So we can then go... Boom. Refill on the air. All right, operationally. <laughs> kind of set right we got a shallow thing the villagers are not going to drop we're gonna have gates across the outside here we'll boat in close the gates break the boat and the villager is now in here uh temporarily we'll have some uh beds or they will just come into the, the job blocks 
uh, open gate here. They walk in, uh, either go to the composter or to the beds we'll have set up. And hey, awesome. We're now uh, enclosed in our space. Two of them in here will process the crops, uh, share the produce back and forth. That will keep them well fed and bred. And uh, we will be good to go for uh, producing. But in order to do, to get them to keep producing, we need to come back here. And we will uh, clear out some more of this. I think we need to have at least three high above. We definitely don't want the gravel. More gravel. Uh, here, we'll use some more bricks. Dunk, 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 dunk. Okay, so this will be our spot for beds. We need four total beds so that there's always availability um, for the the folks coming in and the two the two out here. None of them will actually reach their beds. Um, they will see them. They will want to be assigned to them. They will have an affinity for them, but they won't be, actually be able to get to them. And I think, if I remember, we keep them one more back. Does that sound right? Uh, I know that this will work, so we'll just do it. Uh, so we'll give them an extra extra spot of floor here. I did not bring any beds, so that will be a little ways off. We'll need to go back home for it. Um, next up, I think it's time for... it uh maybe it's for time for the cantilever pilings oh whoops get air oh we should really should have the uh respiration helmet for all this too um Yeah, you know what? Let's uh let's do this. We can put wood those in there. All these potential building e blocks in here. I know I'm going to need these back out in just a bit, but it's all right. Um, glass. Oh, actually, that was... I should go in the building -y blocks. These. That. Go in there. Dirt, I don't, I don't foresee a whole lot of need. We'll kind of count these as trash blocks for now, but um, they might might come in handy later. We might need to build up at the top or something, so we're just gonna keep them. Uh, 
uh, my idea with the greenhouse. Awesome. Yeah, I think uh, I hope it'll look look pretty good. All right, but now now we got to go. Silky to get rid of that. Let's put it here. Oh, we gotta get up and out of here. This looks like a good way. So this ended up being a, a pretty good distance away. And maybe could have brought it a little closer back to the farms, but it's all right. Uh, doesn't doesn't risk overlap with that one or the uh, mine setup. All right, we need. Are you kidding me? We got string though, right? What do we do with all that string? Tell me. Uh. Here we need four. And supplies are getting low. We're just getting into the building mode, too. Sheesh. All right. Uh, beds. What else were we coming back here for? Anything. Don't have wood slabs. I think we're going to need a ton more cobble. At least we'll have the space to store it. And let's bring all this moss. Oh, and then the respiration helmet, right? Not back enough to all this. I didn't get that bed, I don't think. Helmet. Bed. Okay. I'll get my directional bearings, don't you worry. Lava slime running off. See, this is the guy. Oh. Where I guess with one block overhead, he can spawn in there. But hey, it's all XP. Uh, he can't. The good thing is, it, in this short of a ceiling, he can't really jump and attack me. Uh, he can attack me, certainly, if I walk into him, but he uh, can't surprise me. So... And there's not really much room for them to come through and hang out here. All right. So if we... Swap that. Oh my, I don't need those. Uh, you come back in. Get some extra mossy. Just 
just curious. Oh, but it is just a one to one. Uh, I'm gonna hold off because if we need, I mean, thirteen is certainly plenty to spread it again with bone meal, but if we do need to grow more, oh, we got it. All right, we got our respiration now. This should greatly enhance our ability to get work done down here. So, I think we can just kind of do cantilever back up like, ooh, like that. Maybe. Bring that out a bit more. Sure beats trying to trying to get all the way down into a canyon. Now, do we think it's better to have a big extra row like that? Or is it better to set it back in? I kind of like the substance. I don't really like this. This was a mistake. Uh, this dirt will obviously need to be covered up, but we'll do a combo brick and mossy brick below the water line back here, I think. And then we'll probably do um, a pillar, pillar off the cantilever in here. And this is mainly just for the sake of boating up and all that. There's a little bit, so I don't think they need to be full full in or anything like that. Uh, this is the one I don't... I don't know. Let me know if you think we're missing out by not having it, but I think kind of just the continued step up maybe looks better. What do we think about this? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Those weren't part of the pillar. We need those. We could do slabs or something if we think that that hangs through too much. But uh, let's do let's do this side to match threes. All right. 
that gives us some some anchor some idea of support for the whole whole big thing keep it from toppling into the sea right this was the building blocks all right so we still got some of those then i think these were next up Get it. Okay. I like that. Now, next up is going to be something on this inside. Oh. Okay, around there. I do want to put like a fishing deck. That's why this is here. So we can have a little porch. Back to you guys. I think two on the sides here. This is very debatable as to value. Uh, but helps. And then we're going to go in. up to there and ah damn it No light. That's making it tough to see the blocks floating around. Uh, maybe we don't need this one then. And maybe we do need these. The whole point of having this under row is to cover up the dirt <laughs> that's floating down there. You can still see it a little bit, but at least from from like a boat coming in if we have any lighting or anything underneath all this it will uh, help to hide all that all right let's sleep in one of these beds
respiration makes all this possible. All right, now that did come right down from here and just went the... Two locks like that. And then we have... Uh, sinking too much. I guess I'm already missing. Come on. Oh, now I gotta go breathe. And I do, do kind of think maybe I should reinforce down there. Sometimes it starts to feel a little bit just like, okay, well, what's the point? But I think that angular support would, uh, oh my God. Definitely make more sense. All right, so those look good. My full oh, car kelp is in the way. Like, how can I be missing that sand? Sit down. All right, that all seems to match up. That gets covered, but presumably would join up down below. This one is exposed, but now it's all joined, so that looks good. Uh, let's go one more look. I think those match up pretty good, don't they? No big glaring gaps. Uh, maybe here to help cover the dirt just a little bit more. But I think that kind of sets our underwater bit. Uh, now... I guess we can put these beds away. That would help our inventory situation quite a bit. So. We go. I don't know if this any of this really matters, but we need four. And I think they go about like that. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure we need this extra space, but I... I worry if you put them right there, that as they're falling down the chute, they will actually hit them and assign, right? And then even if they grow up and go up there, they'll remain assigned to the bed, and that will limit your breathing. So here, I don't think they can get close enough to claim the bed before they fall down the chute, uh, and everything should be good. 
I'm very bummed that this actually spread. I thought it would spread within the biome, but apparently if you have mycelium and it touches dirt even outside the mushroom biome, it will spread to the other dirt. So there you go. Lesson learned, we'll have to break and replace all this dirt. That will be a huge pain in the butt because there's nothing underneath it. Uh, now, here we want to get a blend of mossy and stone brick above the waterline, obviously with the most mossy being at or just up from the waterline, but kind of, you know, growing algae or slime or whatever that uh, gets enough water from the surf and the rains and all that along the coast here. Um, uh, that the vegetation can kind of be growing up the sides a little bit, right? So it doesn't need to be all the all the areas, but uh, definitely some. And a little bit random as we go. Dry corner. A big stretch. One. Since we had to cook to get these stone bricks, I prefer that the dolphins don't use them as playthings. Or that some drowned zombie doesn't grab them and wander off with them. All right, then. I don't think that one's going to matter at all. I think that's going to be left to the open. There. I think that's good. Now, here, I think we'll go I need uh, I need regular stone bricks too. Stone. Stone. And I think I'm going to go there. Uh, actually, cap that. Do that. 
Uh, maybe maybe one more mossy there. It's getting dark again now, of course. But eventually the moss moss loses out, right? And um, if that one was not very mossy, so let's go there, there, oh damn it, there. Then I think this is all top. And You need to be mossy so we can carry that up somewhat. I do I have other stones and bricks and stuff sticking around here? I guess I got most of them. Alright, let's uh... sleep again. I don't know that this looks as good from the inside, but I think from the outside it'll look pretty decent. This is where we needed a boat. And then if we... Uh, kick this up again, maybe these two should still be even here. There. And then this. Like that. One, two, three. There. Windows, uh, this should be that just counters the door, right? Um, now on this side.
think all the way what do I have left just <laughs> lots and lots and lots of cobble hmm. all right before we totally get into the pretty factor I think we need to get the the guts of the greenhouse done so what I'm thinking here is that the two corner towers we're going to put in a, a roof uh, ladder access probably on that or maybe maybe even up here a uh, roof that comes at least up to this window um, because this doesn't need to be tall it just needs to be uh, villager height I think we'll give them one. Well, I don't know. I don't want Enderman. If we remember, did we go three high or two high? Um, I don't know what we do where the the wall. So how worried would we be about Endermen? In our farm. At all? Not at all? We gotta go. That actually... Let's get built across like that. We do have a post there. Okay, now... Normally, let's, oh, I need a light. Normally, I'd put windows or something here, but I don't think. I don't think we need any of that. I think we just need this to be. Down up here, these though. Maybe glass. Glass here. 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 Tell me that's not all the glass we have. Did I just use up all the glass? Oh my god. <laughs> Good. Not at all. All right. So then if we go... Glass across. At least now we have silk touch pick. So if I misplace these, it's not... Uh, so bad. There. There.
there. A little bit of light in here for our occupants when it's nighttime. Uh, now, real greenhouse domed? Do we want to look at that? What if we went uh, here and then there, there, and oops, there. Right. So much for our Enderman proofing, not that we ever had it really. Do this right. Look at that. Not even an oof on my feet. Thank you, Silk Pick. All right, I think that's much more greenhousey, right? Looks good. And leaves us with. A question of flooring slash covering in here. What do we want to do? Uh... What I really should have brought were some ladders, right? We have so many ladders. All right.
I think The gates have been super, super troublesome. Uh, the one up by the portal over there. I did get that back. It just doesn't make a noise. Get up. Uh, floated high. This one wants to... There. See, that's how they should set. I don't know why that other one went all off kilter, but whatever. All right, so we're going to have gates there. Gate there. Now we got our functionality... And what do I have for leftovers? All right. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't. Uh, how do? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the this is the greenhouse. Scash, uh, Scash was intrigued by the idea of a greenhouse. Is what I got so far. Uh, I got a nice cantilevered roof. Oh, a cantilevered actually is not the roof at all. It's the outside here. We got a cantilever structure stricken out in the harbor. Um, the tower is eventually going to go up here where our villagers are going to shoot up into. And right now I'm trying to. Trying to decide on the ceiling for this bit. Um, I think sometimes we just gotta trash, <laughs> trash and start over. Uh, some of this is just awful. Um, if we do this, that <laughs> then we can come this doesn't even this can be wood actually I don't know what it is. Uh, Will's Jenny welcome, as always. Uh, I know you knew I was acknowledging you with the uh, saloon doors comment, but uh, for folks in the... Oops. Folks in the VODs, not seeing the chat, whatever the case may be. Um, I 
It's just about the time to put the roof on, huh? So this is this is kind of dark, but it's only a boat landing for one thing. And I think that will look a lot better. Let's give a little bit of light in here. Now, that doesn't have to go up. This, oh, almost fell in the water, which we'll probably do anyway, because I think there's pieces down there to grab. Or the dolphins already got them. Or we already got them. You can't tell me none of those blocks dropped in. There's some. All right. Um, I think the double, the, the repeating pattern of doubles on the sides with the smooth sandstone will look a lot better than what we'd had with like the skinny windows and the weird little parts and shapes. Um, that looks better. But then I think we can maybe do... Uh, just like a capped corners on these. Just on the edges. Kind of like the... We don't have much. One, two, three. If we did... There. Oh, there. See how easy I slip back into just using the diamond pick? Do as I say, not as I do. Um, Again, we're not trying to look too medieval. We're just trying to look decorative. Um, and, and give something out that then we can build up from there using the same, same kind of elements. I know we don't have much smooth sandstone left. We can certainly cook some more. Um, but I'm thinking as this tower goes up, so remember, we wanted, we talked about this, and now I think we can transition between these pretty nicely. Um, we want our carts, our, our foot height of the villagers chilling up in this tower to be up high enough that their carts, and I, I think it was this level, come around high enough to deposit them onto the roofs of the villager trading hall so they can drop down into their individual stalls when we build up all that stuff. So we've got a lot, a lot of height to work with. Uh, and I think they're going to want to come up one one more or be at this level uh, when we start them out. And if we need to adjust with the tracks, we can, but that, that still comes up significantly. So we'll build up uh, the tower. And like I said, it we're looking at kind of uh, lighthousey proclaiming out to the ships arriving in the harbor that, hey, we got we got something here. Um so a little bit a little bit finished and polished, not just a dirt hill. Uh, and of course, they'll have a, a windowed area to live in uh, up at the top of their chute where it comes up here. We'll build out around. They'll have a floor where they can gather and not crush each other. And we can push the, the carts into and all that good stuff. And then up above that is where we'll try to put some kind of light, you know, a, a light source, light housey type thing. Uh, I know we don't have beacons or anything to shine out of the top of it yet, but uh, lighthouses, typically, they want to be visible from a long way away, but they also want to uh, shine outward. Uh, not that we can really project light sideways, but we can, um, I don't know, use glow glow lights, uh, shroom, shroom lights, all kinds of light sources to put up on top of this part uh, that would be a, a welcoming beacon out to the mouth of our harbor. Uh, but hey, we're, 
The first little bit is done. It's a good good starting point. Uh, I like that we can can just get over here and go up and down the ladder now. All right, let's uh, sleep again. Get this rain out of here. Flat pack furniture, like actual flat pack furniture, or is that something in Stardew Valley that you've been building? I built some flat pack furniture in my day. Quite a bit. <laughs> I'd argue to say that uh, most everything I own, with the exception of, well, I, I, like now I have some chairs and stuff that, that have all come, and some stuff I got out of my parents' house, but... Uh, like, even my, my nicer bookshelves and things, I think were still assembly. I think I had to do them. Uh, lights and glass shelves and all that, but it was still in essentially a flat box when I got it. Uh, but, yeah, couch, dresser, uh, my bed. Bed was assembly. I got a rocking chair. Uh, my office desk. Might have been flat pack, but I got it from an office, so it's. I didn't have to do it at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yep. Real life, real life flat pack. All right. Anyway, we slept. Two and a half hours in, guys, and we are we are making good progress now. It took that first hour just to get our uh, materials gathered, so. Uh, we got a little ways to go. Um, I think... I think next we need to make some more... wood supplies here. Is two what we need for trapdoors? This is when it starts getting really dicey. Uh, let's go there. There. Oh no, what? <laughs> Those aren't trapdoors. All right, so that one can go, I think. And then we need another one down here. Is this right? where I acknowledged at the beginning. I don't know. I hope they actually fall down in there. So top drop door here keeps adults from going through, right? They're, unlike us, they are two full two blocks and they get stopped. Donk, bonk their head. They can't go. Um, little dudes see these beds and want to walk through. And, of course, having this trap door, we know that well from the darkroom spawners. Uh, they'll walk right off the edge and shoot down the hole uh, that we have yet to build. So we got our four beds in here. That gives them not only enticement to get their, uh, their little butts out of the boat and into the area, um, but it also allows them to continue breeding, right? There's always available beds because the little guys are never going to be able to reach these beds to claim them. So the beds sit there and they're like, hey, look, another bed. I can go get it. Thunk, fall down the hole, shoot down the water, pop up the top, and uh, come out at the top of the, the hill, right? Um, I'm tempted to try to do all the all the fields and get the crop started, but I think that's maybe stupid until we're good to go. 
with the enclosure at the top of the hill and everything else. So... Let's go... I did make these. Let's make... Two composters? Dunk. One of these goes here. Composter over the water so they can't fall in. Double purpose. Water's still there. We'll still irrigate everything. Uh, they go in there. And then because we don't want them jumping up on here and then crushing their crops, we put in a slab and that takes care of them. Now the other one that that I do, this is totally unnecessary. I don't think it messes with anything. I just like to have fulfilled, happy, um, villagers. So I want them both to be able to access the crops. So we'll give them another one there. And if you wanted to, you could do, I don't know, I don't know that this matters a whole. I don't. I don't think it matters at all. Uh, but if you wanted them to have some access and visibility into the composter, you can open up the top a little bit. But we definitely don't want them there, even if this seems a little. Um, you know what we could do. Here, let's do this. Uh, I th think. What is the waves sound? What's going on there? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Does that... Oh, we can do this, though. Huh? We could even do... I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, come on. Make it look like it's meaningful. So now... I don't think they'll try to jump up there. I don't even think that looks like a visible thing. So I don't think they're going to crush these crops. It gives us a reason to have a block floating in the middle to have a little extra light. They can still access their composter. I think that checks all the boxes. I think that's pretty good. This is not, a, not at all helping what we need to do. Um, I think we learned... that we don't want a fence post. We want a wall when we get down in the bottom. Also, we should have uh, we should have more buckets, right? We're going to need a couple signs. Six should do great plenty. Um, how many of those ladders do we have? We have 12 ladders left? I think 12 is enough. I don't think we need more of that stuff. Uh, we really only need one wall. We're not going to need glass at the moment. 
put it back before we get hopeless, hopelessly confused. That's all the brick we have. Wow. Uh, but that's all right. We're going to be underground anyway, and we already got 58. Let's uh, top off our stack here. We can use cobble down in the tunnel, right? No problem there. Because we got all this gravel we got to deal with. Okay. So in they fall. This all gets walled off. They fall in here. The water pushes them to here. Uh, and it was 13. Oh, we're so far away. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's probably not the biggest deal. We can bring that uh that torch spot back. But let's go let's go one more forward. And I think that's where that goes, right? Because we can't can't quite get up. So then we have this is a sign, and this is a sign, test bucket. <laughs> nope. Here, let me uh, throw a light. And also, we don't don't really need these numbers. Um, oh, was I just... Uh, Maybe I was just too low there. It's me moving. All right, now let's try test bucket. Boom. I think we need... I think this does it, right? The little guys get pushed down here. When they're little, they don't drown. They can't they can't reach up. They're too short. But we're we're less than two blocks, right? Our head is, is just slightly under there. Uh I, don't know if it, I look up too much, but you know, if my hat head was level and the front edge of my hat wasn't sticking up so much, and we could go back further. Right, you see that little gap? The villagers don't have that little gap. They, that little bit. It's like a carpet on top of my head. Uh, they don't have that. And that carpet, when I go back here, pops me way up. But you can see, they will pop up uh, as well. Come on, back out of the water. Don't drown. So little guys can stand on that. Uh, okay, listen, listen. Me out of there. Uh, little guys can stand here, no problem. The water will flow down. It'll go around here. Um, they'll be good to go. And we can actually take that out for now. Because um, we're going to want the water coming through here. Uh, 
I might be able to... Well, I guess I can go... I think I can go up a side. Will I be able to get up there? Come on. Hop! Oh, super jump! Super! Super jump! Oh. Of course, no... No side there, so we're going to have to remember to fix the... Oh, crap. Fix that. This goes here. For now. Uh, we can put you... There. All right? This is... They fall down the chute. But they step down the chute. Whee! They come over here. It leaves them bobbing. Um, I, this is where another bucket would have come in really handy. But that's all right. There it looks like our dirt. Nope. There's our dirt. Man, we only have three left. Uh-oh. This whole plan is going, uh... <laughs> going out the tubes. All right, so. A little bit of a fail, but not too bad. That. This goes here. It will now stop at the ladders, I believe. Oh, that was unexpected. But hey, at least we won't drown. Oh. It's a weird noise. Does it do that when they're not drowned ladders? All right, we're getting close. We don't want to move the last... Well, I guess it's going to get messy anyway, because the, the last sign has to go there to trap the water where this ladder is currently and we can't put the sign up until we break the ladder so now it's going to get messy not too bad done all right there we have it so baby villager trying to get to the beds that are above our head falls down here we washes down in the water you can do whatever he wants he can bounce around whatever it's fine he gets to here eventually though and uh, will pop up on the fence and then they'll grow up and as a big villager then he can just float up to the surface. Whee! Doop. And hopefully hop out of the water. So now all we have to do is build out our accommodation here um, for them to live in uh, while we wait to transfer them to village shops or whatever else we end up uh, making out of their home. Um, I think because it never hurts to have a little extra height rather than trying to spill this water all over the place and replace blocks. Although I guess we could we can level it out here. What level is this? This is 75. And if we came all the way to level, which we don't have to necessarily, but if we were all the way to level with the farm, 
which is really one more than I want. We would be at 71. That's four. Uh, um, we only got four blocks. I think they can they can live with a cobblestone floor. That'll be fine. Let's take it up one more. I'd ra much rather be able to just downslope the... Am I wig shaming the villagers? Never. So if I come up to here and I'm at 76... This floor, and we, we thought maybe we would leave them up one higher, because uh, I guess this is 71... This is 70. What the? Okay, well, I guess this is farm level. This is farm level. This is one below farm level. Hmm. Maybe we'll leave them up here. Because I don't think I want my portal below market level, right? Like, we can we can work out the market around here and put it down on this level. And that's plenty. Plenty of room. All right. There's all that. I think... I think at least one, two, three, three out floor, maybe four, one, two, three, uh, we can just keep visualizing here for a second. Uh, so if we were to, you know, like run the, the trains in here and go to a corner or something like that, we'd still be building around the outside. I think this is probably enough floor space, assuming that then this outer, the outside of this is the wall. Uh, however, if we did one more, let's do four, because then, then this wall can just extend up out of that one. And look good. There won't be a weird gap of a hill. So we'll do a 4x4. Four four. They'll have lots of space. We can breed lots of villagers. In fact, we don't even need to go 4 on that side where our space is more at a premium. It's just on the hillside, right? 3 in here, 4 all the way around. Some good. Great. All right, now... For temporaries, uh, I don't know that we really need to fill in, but we're going to. There. Oh, are you... <laughs> I know we got we got plenty of cobble. This is mainly uh a soundproofing consideration, I guess. I don't need I don't need loud, obnoxious mobs in my life. So not having a cavity in there is uh Stop falling. 
is pretty good. I told you guys that stop falling was just a skiing thing. <laughs> like, you want to get good? You want to hang out? You don't want to get left behind? Stop falling. Sometimes you have to just tell yourself that. Tired, you're worn out, you're getting uh, getting exhausted, you got a bump run, you just it's chewing you up and spitting you out. You're like, you know what? No, time to stop falling. All right, so we could potentially round this out a little bit. <sighs> Uh, but I wouldn't want to too much. So we could. Um, Corner cut off like that. Oops. And then that would be these three. That I just <laughs> struggled to get put up. And then those could all be exterior casings. So we'd have just three three sides with a little bit of angle on each internal edge. And I think they're still going to have plenty of space to stretch their legs and be all uh, comfy, cozy inside. So in the interest of what blocks we have remaining because we're gonna have to cook more stone unfortunately or you know we can we can so touch so we don't have any more bricks than, than what we got here what uh nothing really in there let's take i don't know how much of this we brought let's leave a couple uh but if that's all of our cobble i'd like to have it back at home uh for cooking purposes um, now for the sake of, Go there. I guess this one isn't. That's unnecessary. And then it's getting a ways up above water level. But kind of makes sense to our tower. Have the lower bricky stuff be mossy a bit, even though it's growing out of the ground. <laughs> um, these could really do with like inverted slabs or steps or something. Just to balance them out. And, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is more. What 
what I should really just be doing is going back and starting to cook more stone. Or Silk Touch picking it now. So we'll eventually uh, face that back out. The question is going to be, where do I start the smooth sandstone uh, to round out our little pattern? And if we've got... Five here, do I go with three? And do I start here? And bring those on up. And then how far down did they start over here? Right, one, two, three, four below my feet. Two, three, four. So it would be To there then we could stone brick everything else around the edges here uh, but that will maintain our our decoration and then off our middle that would be you 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 Uh, with the train train coming out there, and it will probably be trestled, I would think, uh, for as long as we need it. Uh, but the, these whole areas, I think, will be windowed, or maybe just these panels right here, and wall in the rest. I don't know. We'll figure that out, but we're going to need a lot more brick uh, to get all that done, right? So let's go... Man, our, our easy connection to the roof was so short-lived. A few surprise goodies. I mean, I guess we could make... Uh... Oh, I was getting stone. All right, well... Is what? What? Oh, this is this is off. Really need to refill that water bucket too. There. And these will go out too. Three there. Oh man, we're, just, we're already short again. Okay. Uh, I guess we didn't need to put in these placeholders, but we will. Uh, for anchoring those two. All right, so I think we'll do windows solid or maybe uh, maybe maybe some corner windows as well. I want them to have a nice view.
Up we go again. Oh, <laughs> now I got a head bonker there. Uh oh. Uh uh oh. Yeah. Gonna have to get in and out. It's uh, it's the opposite of what I'm trying to do to the villagers, right? So if we did that, that. That, that. That? I think that would be a nice um airy space all prison like even give them an extra little bit of headroom so those endermen can come in and hang out with them Nice. Uh, I think this... Oh, I don't know. I didn't use all the sandstone, did I? I just left some that back there. Uh, I do think... I think this is all the glass we need, though, right? So I think we can... Store the glass now. And actually be done with it. Three of those. And then we are just going to need... More... Bricks. So yeah, it's a little bit of an inversion, but because that's the doorway, I think that makes more sense. And then we'll put stone brick on the, the corners and in those little holes, I guess we'll need need dirt there. Oh, I might have made that tough. But we should be able to use one block. All right, we're getting there. <laughs> so close. We could uh, theoretically use dirt blocks and get this thing cranking and start oh I need to replace all this too dang it there's no way we're making them live on a dirt floor cobblestone sure dirt that's kind of savage uh, we can also put some light in here so we don't need that light can go on those other pillars eventually uh, but we'll be able to kick the train in uh, pick up some candidates and then get going and it will come out on this level, which will suspend the run across so it can go over to the tops of the various um, villager malls and eject them and get them, uh, get them ready to go. We need a lot of stone brick now to finish out the tower and take it up. We don't have to do all the lighting to get the farm working, but we do, I do have to get it enclosed at least. Uh, we know we've got lots of thunderstorms and stuff around here, so we don't need witches in our, our breeder after we work hard to get them all set up. So we do need to cover all that. Uh, three hours and ten minutes. We're not doing too bad. Uh, I appreciate everybody that's been dropping in to say hello and uh, hang out in the comments. Chat, you guys are awesome. Mm hmm let's go portal on home and take a there we go saloon door uh get the next next batch oh wrong way oh that's right i forget skinny over here Zoop. Oh. 
Ugh. Yawny. All right. We got over here. I, oh, good, 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 good. All of you. I think we're good on ladders. Should I should take some ladders over there until we're good to go. Uh, on principle, although I think we... No, uh, those are stone, not cracked stone. <laughs> I saw the texture there. I was a little worried. Ford? Oh, I'm so glad we don't have to go digging for sandstone or uh, stone stone. Away. <laughs> My feet seem to be running so fast and determinedly in that little when you're like bunny hopping but not getting the full speed bunny hop. Howdy, partners. Let's get the top done we can fill in all the walls on the bottom but this is uh this is important stuff right here uh, because with this done uh, we can start start cranking out villagers. Additional torches. That should be plenty for the room. Now, I was going to get water back when we were at home, and that was convenient. But So much for that. All right, here. I think Think, I think we're just going to cap everything in stone brick, not smooth sandstone. We might continue that up for the decorative top, but uh, for this transition, I think we're going to call it good. Um, again, here we could almost use, I'm putting all my books back on my new bookcase, and I'm devastated. The pages have started, oh, I know, that, that, if there's ever a thing that, uh, that makes you feel the passage of time, it's when books that you bought new, uh, are starting to yellow. The worst is when, uh, you have paperbacks and the, like, the glue or the spines start to let go. That's when you're like, oh my gosh, I've I've totally used up all the life in this book. I have a copy of uh, Complete Works of Sherlock Holmes. My parents, somebody got them for me uh, when I was a li fairly little kid. Not super little, but uh, young enough. Uh, in two paperback volumes, and one of them has completely let go. I, I was picking those back up to reread them uh, not too long ago. And... Uh, had that diff disappointing realization when some of the pages from the inside actually started pulling out. And I was like, no, don't. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to repurchase these. But I guess I need to. When, when the pages start coming out. <laughs> Yellow is fine. Yellow is just character. I, I read a lot of my parents' books. Uh... You know, especially my dad had a bunch of uh, of cl the classics and stuff that were just just there on our bookcase growing up that were available. Uh, so I read a lot of those, and you know, of course, he hadn't he hadn't read them in a long time, um, but they were still perfectly sound, right? And uh, just yellowed. And hey, I'll I'll do that. I'm down with reading reading yellowed page books as long as they're still serviceable and not 
not absolutely falling apart. Plus, it's just money, right? As, as you reminded me, hey, there's always libraries to get, um, be able to read stuff, right? So, uh, I, I look at yellowed is just getting warmed up. Um, tattered. It, it maybe, maybe it's time for the. I know you guys. I, Is it all cello tape? Is that what you guys call it? I know in Harry Potter it's it's spoofed as spello tape, but uh, that's Scotch tape. Scotch being uh, brand name of 3M, the company that made it. Uh, the, you know the clear clear stuff. That, that's the next stage. <laughs> that's when you're like, all right, they're in life support. And then, then when nothing further can be done for them, and it's you know to the point of you need to have a degree in bookbindery to uh, repair your four dollar paperback when you bought it, that's when it's like, all right, time to suck it up. I love this book. I'm gonna reread it again and again. So, I will uh, will pony up for more. And of course, here we do want to get the base layer because we wouldn't be building a tower just off the dirt the tower should be anchored all the way down to the foundation right? Uh, all right, now that one's good. I think we got most of this with the the mossy, right? There section to go down here. That needs to go. That needs to go. And now here's the part where I realize I need more sandstone. And not not at the moment, really. It's actually good. Uh, we'll see how what the landscaping has to say about that down the road, but... Sticky tape. Okay. Yellow feels dirty. No. No. Yellow feels loved. Yellow is personality and character uh, stories to impart. That's what yellow is all about. Not too bad. Obviously, it, it needs something on top. Right now, it's just kind of a pillbox sticking up on top of the, the hill. But functionality-wise, uh, I think I think we're good to get it uh, get it going to test run level. And again, oh oh my gosh, I almost <laughs> almost so so trolled right hey let's fill in all the windows finish the walls all that we can't put villagers up here i didn't put a gate up <laughs> on the door oops and we should actually slab that as well uh so let's uh, this will be kind of wasteful but the coloring see sandstone is kind of yellowed too and it's got character dang it um, if we do that, then we shouldn't need a gate, but sometimes the babies somehow get up there. So I'm going to put in a gate anyway, uh, at least for the time being. Oh, I thought we had an extra one. Did we only have the exact number of gates we needed? Oh, I think I think that was the true. All right. Uh, we need sticks, more sticks, and then we should be good to go. All 
Oh, I got to pop my ears. They just started doing the little... I don't know. Does the rest of the world, you guys have like the annoying tinnitus ads? Oh my God. When did that become such a deal? You, you may have tinnitus if you have a ring. Like now, sometimes your ears just ring a little bit. You don't need drugs for that. It'll go away. Uh, now, obviously, if that was something that that is just ongoing and never stopping, dude, oh, huge, huge disruption. So I'm not, I'm not downplaying it at all. Um, but I think, I think a lot of that is just marketed to, yeah, sometimes, sometimes your ears just ring a little bit. Um, all right, we're going to have to replace everything. Let's get the, get the bucket done. We're right here. An empty bucket is a worthless bucket. Right, let's sleep in here. I like the, I like the fence post lights thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I think our beds all the way through should, should work to attract even from here. I think they'll be within range. Oh, we need, uh, dang it. I need more gates. All right. Our gates. Sticks. Uh, I was going to put a door up there. I can switch it to a door, but it can't be a door when the villagers come through. Otherwise, they can open it and then walk out into the water and try to go back to their villages, right? No good there. All right. Last but not least, this is going to be sort of annoying. But hopefully, oh, with this... Oh, we have all this, too. Oh, I'm so happy. I don't know why we... Oh, these are the... <laughs> these are the little walls. We definitely want to get all this dirt back. Because uh, between all of our stacks... Oh, no, we have... We actually have all those... Uh, those garbage areas. Oop. Did I grab the hoe yet? No. <laughs> Excuse me. Hiccupy burpee time. I had uh, had green peppers with my eggs today. All right. No smooth stone or stone stone. You. You. Uh. These are the these are the most difficult ones. Get all the dirt. Because these are the ones in the actual biome that can change. So let's do Oops. That's fine. Come on. We're fighting fighting the mycelium spread. All right, we're pretty close to good. We still want to be very careful along here. And then we get out to the ocean. Oh, but we do have... Uh, I guess I should have broken all the rest of those. It's all right. Oops. Oh, uh, that's why we had, had extra. I don't know if it can spread diagonal, but we're not taking the chance. I almost fell down the hole. We know it works, at least. All right. Now we're good there. Now we can dig all the rest of this up. I guess we'll just make a little fountain for now. Dusty. Well, I... <laughs> Yeah, a little. Uh, there's some of that. But seriously, you can you can get up to a lot of mildew on a book before it's it's really really wrecked. All these. See, so you add a little bit of current in, and everything starts to get messy. All right, now we should be outside if we look here. 
we're still in deep lukewarm ocean all the way around so we shouldn't have any of these now spreading back into mycelium uh, the main thing is we just don't want to break our source water oh my gosh why was that be oh, it was a torch <laughs> i was like is that because of a torch i know this behavior also before i lose my step i think we just threw a threw a dirt there it is again Leave the exit just in case we need. We can't swim around, but oh. I wouldn't put it past myself to fall in. All right, now it would be tougher. Guessing I could still find a way to manage it. You need to go. We really really limiting our need for the shield at this point. Well, kind of, until we get a totem. I know some people will use a torch there. I don't know. It's always seemed uh, a bit unnecessary. All right, dirt good. Plank, stick, slab. Oh, wait, I need that slab. That was intentional slab. Uh, let's leave this smooth stone for now. Leave a hoe over here in case of accidents. Leave the gravel here because we don't need it. Uh, let's go ahead and plant... Uh, the only backfire here is if they come in at night and are not attracted to the job blocks and can't see or don't care about the beds, they may be slower uh, to get contained. Night is kind of the ideal time. Um, we can't. I've, I've never had too much of a problem with it, building it out with basically this this kind of config where... We have a place to bring the boat in and break the boat and leave them safe and secure, right? They're not going to go anywhere. They can't hurt themselves. They can't do anything here that's out of the way, right? If they stand here, they can't drown. They can't swim under the fence. They'll be good. I don't think they can do ladders. Uh, we might, might be well advised to just pop that real quick. In fact, we might be well advised to just pop that because they might might be able to jump so until we until we get those set <laughs> it's fine uh so they come in here they get settled they want the beds but they can't get to them. they bonk their heads they're all secure here uh they trade out these carrots which should be growing up nice and big and tall the babies come down here because they try to get to the beds uh, they can't reach this water when they're babies, but when they grow up and stand on top of this wall, they will. Then they can float slash swim up to the top. Boop! Hopefully they don't drown in that time. Um, they pop out up here, and then they go, mm -hmm, yeah, right? Uh, and they are all good. Now, the fence here is baby-proofing. We don't want baby villagers to somehow end up in here, jumping maybe. Uh, if they end up on the wall down here and jump, can they get in? Very likely, right? I think I've had babies uh, end up up here. So that's why the fence is there. Keep them contained. Uh, and hopefully if we're pushing in a mine cart, uh, the timing is just right that they're not, uh, not running around or we will stop them breeding and 
all of the uh, all the adults will have grown up. So I think we are cautiously set to go get some villagers. You guys with me? I know it's because of sweat on our hands, but it just makes me sad. Can I have to start reading with? <laughs> yes, you should be full on archivist, and your uh, your nineteen ninety copy of the paperback version of the uh, the Matrix adaptation. Um, it, you should definitely read with the the cotton archive gloves. Also, you need one of those, like, reading... Maybe that's your flat pack furniture. The, like, reading thing where it, like, holds the book and you, like, slip each page through the through the anchors so that, um, you know, probably you should just unbind your books and flip each page uh, and then reassemble them or store them in envelope pouches uh, without the binding. <laughs> just to avoid wear and tear on the pages. Oh, uh, I, I struggle with it. I, I know how it goes. The the books I'm reading right now are, they're not nearly as old as some of the others I have, but I've read them a few times. Uh, it's a four book quadrilogy, and uh, they're pretty worn down. Uh, so I as I get you know like at the beginning and at the end when there there's just those few pages and you're not you know bending in the middle of the spine, it's you got to go pretty careful. Uh, you don't want to just be tossing them around. Yeah, no, I I hear you. Um, I'm just looking at my case. I can't believe how uh, how beat up the spine of my Lay Miz is, and I've only ever read that once. I I don't think I would go back to reread Lay Miz, uh, but it's pretty trashed. Like the whole middle is just all wrinkled, and uh, you know, says something about the. I didn't go for the deluxe copy of it or anything. It was like the, oh, yeah, class. I always hit that, like, classics, you know. It's like, oh, I don't have a copy of that yet. Um, but the booksellers have those have those for cheap. All right. Anyway, don't let me, don't let me get to looking at the bookcase. I'll be lost for hours. All right. I think we're pretty good. Let's go through. Uh-oh. There we go. All right, back through. Three and a half hours. I think we we gathered the materials, assembled them all, built the structure, and a little bit of decoration, all in a very reasonable amount of time. All right. Uh, these guys go back. Everything. Everything out. You there. Watch. I'm going to have more stacks of moss. Oh. Moss is low. Cobble's low. That was all the cobble. Wood is low. So short on everything. But uh, if we get these villagers and get them started, then we will begin uh, gathering. And one of the gathering activities is going to be slimes, and slimes are going to be in the swamp, so we may clear out a bunch of trees to get the, the slimes ready to go. Uh, I think we're going to switch back. We're not going to be building underwater, even though we are going to be going over the water. Uh, and we definitely don't want the boat with chest. Uh, we'll just make note of any ships or portals or anything like that. It is really all about in and out with our villagers. Let's sleep. <laughs> That's why we get along. By the way, I don't know if you were here. Uh, hang on. Don't let me. Don't let me forget the bed. Oliver, it's a very special day today. Did you send a birthday card to your your author granddad? That's right, Charles Dickens. 
Happy posthumous birthday to you. Charles Dickens, born a long, long time ago, died a long, long time ago, but uh, his works are still enduring and inspiring. Uh, movie scripts, stories, all that, they get reworked. Timeless, timeless tales. Charles Dickens, happy birthday. We're not going after animals today, though, so no, for one thing, we don't have any extra name tags. Um, for another, we uh, didn't need to track the birthdays too close, but there were were some more significant ones today, uh, but none none more noteworthy for stuff we talk about around here than Charles Dickens. He's a, a monster of a literary greats. Oh, there it is. Oh, look. We're starting to starting to emerge on the coast. I think I think that looks all right on the corners. You guys think the the pattern of the smooth sandstone looks good? I hope so. And then we'll uh, we'll definitely bling up the top a little bit. Like I said, I I'd, I'd like it to be a little bit lighthousey. I don't want it to be too medieval. Uh, maybe something metallic up top uh, with some glowstone or something to be a light uh, that we could see in the distance in the evenings if we're coming back. Uh, but we may we may very well walk it in at that height uh, to be a much more narrow uh, calm up above that. Kind of kind of what I'm thinking. All right, anybody remember where the villages were over here? There was that that great one kind of right by the water. Um, I know like the mountain and everything was up here. So then did we have to go back around? Remember there was the jungle and the mesa and everything? I don't know. Oh, uh, well, that, that was what, uh, we were, we, I, I was kind of talking about at the time is a lot of people, a, a lot of young readers or even adult readers that remember it from English class. And we're like, oh my God. Please don't mention Charles Dickens. It's so wordy. The sentences are so long and all that. It's, uh, I hated it. Give him a try because um, Charles Dickens was so modern in his time. Like he, he defined a lot of what we still live on today as far as like, oh, when's the next, uh, when's the next Boba Fett? When's the next, uh, Game of Thrones uh, binge series going to come along? You know, what? what is that next episodic uh, sitcom on TV or, or whatever? All of that style of familiar characters coming along in a progressive story, that's him. And that was with the media at the time, the newest, edgiest, you know, nowadays streaming, phones, all that. Back in the day, uh, newspapers were this, hugely new invention. The idea that you go into your job, you know, as a, a factory worker or a teacher or a fisherman or whatever on your wages and just with your expendable income could on your way home, go pick up a newspaper and among all the news and the adverts and everything else that were going to be in there would be a serialized story uh, that was purely just entertainment and fiction, but characters dealing with common stuff at the time. Uh, humorous, again, for the time. Um, that was that was totally life-changing. And um, that's why a lot of those stories get reworked, twisted, turned, flipped around, and started back up again so that uh, they can be repackaged and sold to modern audiences. The languages change a little bit, but if you give them a try, if you read it, you know, patiently enough, not not where you have to sit down and be like, I have to read this for this time, but like, uh, I'm going to read for a few, a little bit uh, as I, I nod off tonight and uh, see, uh, see how much of it sticks and don't put a bunch of pressure on Oh, what's going to be in the story, you'll find that the characters just totally come to life. And the fact that he was getting paid 
um, to produce lines. There's um, any people may not know this, but there's a lot of question as to how much did he actually write? Uh, you know, Shakespeare, all those. Like, did they really do all of it themselves? Uh, in the case of Dickens, very likely not. Um, he was kind of, kind of the media ghostwriter uh, type before that was a thing. Hey, little guy, you want to be a little guy and come with me? You do not want to come along. You look like a nitwit. Your green scares me. Although you could be, could be something else, but I think you're just a nitwit. All right, let's see if we can get this dude. Um, it would be great to not get him near a path. Are you both going to go in the house? Get in there. Get in there. Come on. There you go. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, no fall damage in boats, so we can go down off cliffs, but we can't get back up if we come to a path, right? Paths are a little depressed. So if you get on a path, then you can't go back up onto regular level blocks. So you've then got to either get to a cliff edge or um, not. So we're just going to see if we can swing, keep going around this way, and either catch flowing water like this. Oh, here we go. Whee! All right. We're good so far. <laughs> How are you liking this, little buddy? You're going to grow up and say goodbye to mom and dad. This is some seriously Dickensian stuff. Yeah, come on off to the factory. We got you. <laughs> oh. I'm like uh, Fagin. I, that was the Oliver, the, the musical, right? I don't know. Was that was that the character in Dickens too, Fagin? Taking the kids and, and telling them how great life's going to be and then uh, exploiting their wares. Uh, but any, yeah, anyway, um, Dickens at the time was was massively popular, but what he wasn't seen as at the time was a literary great, right? He was uh, kind of eh, Pulp Fiction kind of stuff, right? Uh, uh, because it was totally new, and at the time, everybody's looking at Chaucer and, you know, at the time, uh, Shakespeare and all that. Um, as the literary greats and uh, the classics of the ancient world, right, would have been taught in school. You would have read your your Plutarch and your Aeschylus and some of that kind of stuff. Not nobody in the modern era could, was supposed to have been nearly good enough to compete with the classics. So, um, yeah, uh, you're never. You're never seen as a great in your time, and we can't determine, like right now, you know, uh, J.K. Rowling and, and uh, J.R.R. Martin and, and some of those by number Stephen King by numbers alone, they would very much appear to be the greats, right? Um, but we don't we don't know what time will then determine uh, as years go by. Oh, these people had it totally figured out. Oh, look at it, just jump out. So someday we'll have to put something on this other other bank, and of course this whole this whole piece is going to get developed, right? Uh, so we'll have tons of different buildings going up on the land, but eventually both sides of the harbor, and very 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 likely, I would say we we're going to need some form of a suspension bridge going across the the harbor inlet, right, from the heights. It's just got to be. Not saying it has to be the Golden Gate or the uh, whatever the one is on the Firth of Forth. Um, but big, big harbor mouth like that. Yeah, we gotta have gotta have something. All right. Now the problem with you being little. <laughs> We got a lot of problems with you being little that I didn't really consider. Oh, that's good you got some green 
but he's actually going to go through and try to test our system here. I think we can just throw a block, though. I think this will work. If we just put... We put that there. It doesn't interfere with the trapdoor that's down below. Uh, it doesn't interfere with that trapdoor. He now can't get out. I don't know if it will it will send him towards the bed. He already, we saw the little like green pluses, right? That was him wanting to go to the beds. All right, will you go in there? What do you think? Huh? You sleepy? Time for bed bed? Want a story? We'll read you some Dickens. Ha! Oh, he's going to mash the, the soil, I'm sure. No, he doesn't even do that. That's awesome. All right, well, you just bounce there until you grow up. I hope you don't grow up mid-bounce. Fantastic. All right. Um, I said it all along. It's kind of just uh, just gameplay here, but uh, we are going to be a multicultural continent. We don't want to have um, our population just drawn from a single farm, right? So now we will do... A long boat ride, um, because I think I think it's worth going back to one of our initial communities, right? We could go, we could go over to the Pumpkin Village, um, grab somebody from that side. It would probably be a little shorter of a trip, but I, I think back to our roots is important. As long as we don't get tridented. I wonder, is that a ship? Or a, could that be an amethyst? Let's go check this out. It's obviously something. I think that's got to be an amethyst. This is how they used to be. Uh, all over the ocean. But this this one just happens to be up there. Did we already know about that? Maybe we did. I know. I know. I was thinking about this the other day. This world is definitely getting to the point where I am forgetting stuff already. Um, where things lie and all that. It's just, we've seen plenty now. Um, I think I still have pretty good grasp on the edges of this this ocean that we're in, right? You know, we've got savannah, it goes along, it gets back to some normal woods. The big first mountain where we got uh, Snowflake and Cold Eye and uh, Oliver is kind of that way with the barrier islands and the stone shores and everything. There's some canyons and all. Uh, that goes around to that far mesa that we just, just saw. We didn't go back and explore it, but there's some mesa. The jungle on the far side over there, that goes eventually over towards the swamp. The big fragmented -y, mountain -y, uh shattered-looking thing. Oh, drowned. Sorry. Anyway, then our new mountain that we walked around, then the village with the pumpkins, uh, the jungly stuff over that way that bridges all the way back through. Tons of rivers and things we haven't explored yet. But as I was thinking about, like, some of the biomes we haven't seen yet, uh, how many have I actually seen that we've just overlooked uh, is a good question. There's this village... But it's the same, right? It would just be another another Savannah dude. And I don't think we need that. How far are we from Moonset? Oh, let's let's try to sleep. We might have to fight a little bit, but we haven't done much fighting today. I see you, Creeper. Creeper hasn't seen me yet. Zombie has. Uh, creeper care? You got a bone. Just come right over here. Try to sleep far. Oh, oh, right in the gut. Oof. That one's going to sting. Yikes. All right. Well, that's good. Uh, we don't want to try to do this at night. Uh, although, uh, it looked like it worked out fine with our, our young guy. Um, 
night can sometimes be the best time. I didn't want to show up in the night. Um, oh, yeah. Remember we went back in and explored there. Tried to get see if that would connect us back to spawn. Didn't super directly. Uh, but we do think all of that mahogany forest is the same. It's good to good to go back to our roots. So yeah, we're gonna have to get uh, for the next phase. Obviously, we need, we now need another ton of building materials as we used most everything that we have. I mean, there's there's some stuff we got a lot of, but... Uh, I, th I just kind of think we have to consider how much of it we want to use again, right? Like Deep Slate. We got so much Deep Slate from looking for diamonds. Uh, working around, we got a ton of Basalt because that happens to be where we started in the, uh, the Delta. Uh, we could use all that, but it's kind of repetitive from what we've done in the past. I'm trying to mix that up a little bit as... Whew, oh, puffer fish. I was getting distracted by that floating block over there when he hit. It's not as bad as the bees, though. Those bees, man, oh, when they all pop up, that literally makes me jump out of my skin. That is so awful. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're definitely going to Canalsville here. Uh, I think this is the place. It's nice to have a nice little boat after we've been working hard building and cooking stone and feeding mushrooms and all that. It's good to have a nice little boat ride interlude. Cruise around. So we got some villagers here, but again, this is uh, one thing I've learned through hard experience is if we just straight up grab them they'll sometimes act really weird about the beds. So I think, I think we now need to hang for a bit. Uh, but that's not terrible because we could get some more, more on mahogany supplies while we're here, right? We got about half a day. Hey, kitties. Hey, froggies. I know slimes were coming. Here, we got this boat. Um, I don't know what our, I think we came through here, right? Let's see if we can. Oh, clear this pathing. Did I not have any of those? Oh, I guess maybe I, I left a lot of this. I know we took it. Oh, I think we were so full, right? We didn't. Oh, I'm under a lily pad. We didn't have. Um, the space to grab a lot of these things. I think they just broke. Uh, broke underneath us. What we're looking for is a vine that will get us all the way up. Come on. Am I, am I going up? Yeah. Come on. And again, this is all kind of secondary. A main priority here is uh, 
is getting our villager as soon as it goes tonight, and we would be well advised to be in the village and ready to go as the sun goes down so we can just be at the bed that's most convenient to boat away from, do a little bit of prep, but if we can take a tree with us, it seems good. And this will help clear the channel uh, that connects. Uh, what do we call it? Canalville? <laughs> With the sea. No idea how many different trees we have in our midst here. Um, but the last time we were working on this, we probably had a stone axe or a quickly dissolving gold axe that we found in some chest somewhere. Maybe we'll maybe we'll make a trader village out of a lot of mahogany. Sustainably sourced, of course. All right, we'll try to pick those up as we go go down to the next section. I'm afraid we're missing more branches here. There's another papagool, whatever they are. I think this is a tree. I think everything back that other way is a tree. Hang it. Oh man, now stuff's going to start decaying on us. Dude! How did I miss all this? Oh, I hear it breaking. Let me get home. Okay. I won't be stuck. Where did I get down here from? Why am I... Why can't I turn? Alright. I don't think we're going to decay too much with all these blocks around. So then there was this tree that we came out of. Alright. That fell. Duh. How much of our day is left? It's not dark yet, fortunately. We got that tree still. That's still got branches and all kinds of stuff. All right, that seems to be getting down to the bottom. And then we got this one. Oh, more branches this way.
Oh, it's getting dark. All right. Where'd our boat go? I didn't break that boat, did I? Oh, that's over here. All right. Quick. Man, that goes fast. All right. That boat can hang out there. Golem's going to keep us safe. While we do our work, and let's hope there's somebody up here. Farmer. Oh. Uh, okay. I, I need to get... <laughs> Cat, do not get in the boat. Get in the boat. <laughs> you do get in the boat. There you go. Good job. All right. Now, he <laughs> closes the door. All right. Uh, we're just going to get you out here to safety. Sort of safety. Okay, now I'm going to borrow your bed real quick and sleep in it. They're all like, what happened to our dude? Now, are you this guy? Because well, we'll break this. Put it over here for future farmers. And you guys want to be a farmer? Oh, he's still a farmer. Shoot. Uh, was that an incident? Was that always like that? I don't recall a creeper popping in this town. There's that one. There's one way over here. I mean, maybe? Well, that was kind of full. Did I, did I take anything? No! Oh my god, what? Well, I guess there's been creeper incidents now. He came out of those woods? Dude, not cool. Did you see that, man? I heard it. Oh, now we gotta fix a house? Okay, time for this. Where does this go? Uh... Good as new, right? Oh my goodness. All right. Did <laughs> hopefully breaking those released our farmer from his farmering. Good grief. Creepers. Trying to get stuff done here. Also, we did go early on. Yeah. All right. He's no longer a farmer. Awesome. And he no longer has his bed. Uh, before we make the boat ride home, I'm going to step away real quick. It's been, uh, been a couple hours and change since my last break. So I will be right back.
All right, and we're back. Now I got that mute button hit. All right, or unhit. Hey, how you doing, buddy? I know I took away your job, but don't worry. Uh, your farming skills are going to be in high demand where we're going. Uh, check out this. Have you ever been out on the reef here? It's beautiful, isn't it? I know you guys have kind of seen it from the distance, but... Also, why did you live so far away from your field? Uh, you, you should have farmed on the one on the coast. Don't worry, though. You, you a fan of carrots? I hope so. Taters? It's a beautiful habitat, the sea. We, we in Mushroomandia... We still still need to work on our, our name title. Why is my crosshair so pink? Also, it was just morning, right? I slept. It looks very dusky. Sir, I, I'm horribly confused. I don't know what all is going on. I don't know. Is that... Is that our temple? We don't often make this trip diagonally. I remember that portal, though. We've definitely seen it a lot of times. Yeah, it's going to be great. I already got a, got a friend for you. Um, I like those things. That's not a temple. That's just the little things. But I'm not gonna not gonna explore while we got our buddy in the boat. Oh, we're still back up at the jungle. Okay, we gotta come hard to uh, starboard. Uh, we'll try to. <laughs> the guardians didn't bother us too much when uh, when we had horses. Hopefully, villagers check out the scene. Don't don't stare them in the eye, dude. Just keep moving. Man, it's a big ocean. I bet right about now you're pretty nervous, sir, but don't worry, ma'am. We know exactly what we're doing. All right, I think that, that's that got to be it, right? Any second now, our mushrooms, uh, mushroom trees are going to start popping up. Right? There they are. Told you. You like mushrooms, right? Stew? We got all the mushroom stew you could want. It's going to be delicious. Look at those trees. You can't see them right there, but there's some cows over there. We got we got plenty of uh, tastes of the homeland. There, There's chucks running all over the place. I even brought some sandstone in the architecture, so you're going to feel right at home. You, you farmed in a greenhouse, you say. You, you always dreamed of that? Oh, perfect. See? A little, a little touch of green really brings vibrant new life to the uh, the island. And we're just getting started. You're, you're in on the ground floor. Yep. Literally. Like the water level floor. It's a little... You might notice a little bit of mold growing or a moss... On the blocks and stuff. D don't worry about that. That just, just there. See, that I just live in a hole in a dirt, a dirt hole. That's that. That's where I'm at. Just so you know. Just compare that. Keep that in mind. All right. You won't be too far away. See, just got a, a little bit of terrain here. And uh, yeah, big big bluff here. That's going to protect you from most of the weather. A little waterfall. See, it's beautiful. Man, people people pay lots to go on vacations like this. You, you just get to come. A little bit of grass. A little grass. Oh, there. You see that? See that up behind the mushrooms? Yeah. Now, don't worry about up there. It's not nearly as nice up there.
I don't see that he's grown up yet. Although I don't know if we'd really see him through the glass. Hopefully he hasn't disappeared, gotten himself into any trouble. I, <laughs> it's the first young villager I've ever recruited. How are you doing, sir? Are you still bouncing? Um, I'm not going to touch on the topic of growing up or anything like that. I'm just going to invite you to go. Uh, you want to you become a farmer again? Come on. Come on over here. It's beautiful in here. Here, should I bait you with some carrots? Because I know you're a farmer. You're going to like them. Come get the carrots. Sir, the, the kid's getting all the carrot sticks. Oh, now I got some. Come on. Come and get carrots. Why are you just looking at the carrots? Dude. There you go. You, you missed some of them. Hey, and you're a farmer. Awesome. All right, help him grow up. Here. You eat carrot sticks, though. It'll make it big and strong. And just like that, we have a savannah villager and a desert villager. Um, and they'll they'll have both types of offspring. Uh, last time we had jungle and plains. So some of them had the little yellow outfits. Actually, I think we had, uh, had some of these red shirted ones, right? We had red, <laughs> we had Star Trek red shirts, and we had uh, those. Are, hey, look at this carrot right here, dude. You should harvest that. Show me your farming skills, dude. This farm is so much bigger than any of the farms you used to have. Remember all those tiny little desert plots? And you, kid, grow up. You don't need a bed to grow up, do you? Uh... <laughs> that looks exhausting. Um... Hmm. Uh, this is where patience gets tried severely. All right, let's leave them to their thing. Uh, let's leave some backup carrots. Seems wise. Switch that out. All right. We have a boat to get back home. And a bunch of stuff to drop off. And then, then we got a lot, a lot more to do. I'm glad the the villager banter is uh, is entertaining for folks. I I love it. <laughs> I'm so glad we have villagers now. We can we do literally have people we can run around and talk to and um, entertain ourselves with. Oh, there she is. Can you see Natalie Cole? Just her head up there. Whoop. All right. We have mahogany logs, papagools, propagools. I would say papagools. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with roots, although we can do this. Doesn't fit in with our build. But we can make... Oh, these are muddy... Isn't there like a waddle and daub? Can we make waddle or anything? I know, like, for the architecture, maybe it's just the muddy roots. Um...
I don't know. Uh, if if I'm missing something there, maybe it's just to use the muddy roots in building. Um, it's very possible. One seed, one bone, some sticks. These were definitely carryover from our building uh, that we may wish we had back there at some point, but that's all right. Uh, we can tidy this up. Don't, 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 don't. We, this is our fortune axe. This is just straight up efficiency. It can come back over here now. We don't have more silk touches, but we've got these two uh, that are both efficiency, silk touch, and unbreaking three. Uh, the one is efficiency five, the one is four, obviously, so not quite as great, but it's okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to do this. So I know, I know we need slime balls. Um, but I don't know how urgently we need those relative to everything else. Um... Natalie, I, it's kind of selfish of me, but I think I'm going to keep you over here because I like saying hi to you. I know you probably like to be with your family, but we got this portal. Come over here. We're uh, going to do anything to help ourselves at the moment with the project. But the project is, is very much alive. We're going to get stuff. I, I, So I was thinking on break as... Mahogany wood would be fantastic. I think we could use a lot of that, and it could be really beautiful. Um, and, and something I haven't used as much of. We just need to make sure that around the the job blocks themselves, like the lecterns or the uh, composting bins or whatever we use to assign the villagers their jobs, that they have non-wood. So if we chop the block, we're not breaking the whole thing. Whatever that is, uh, doesn't matter too much, but it is, um, pretty important that we have it. Now, I think, we know, we know the villagers always have to D cart going this way, right? So we're kind of set up backwards, right? We, we can't just like bring it along the front this way and eject them. They'll go the opposite way, not end up in our villages. So they, the track either will have to come all the way around the outside and load them from the outer edge, or we just break it each time, load from this side and uh, build build the village out this way. Um, we need to do a ton of leveling work out here. And I think, I think maybe that's where we need to start because the first thing I, I need to give these guys enough time that the other dude can, oh, is that another hat? I can't tell if he's still young or if that's another farmer hat. Uh, but we need to give them enough time to to hang out, to breed, and all that. Obviously, these couple mushrooms are going to have to go. I think this one will stay. Um, but you probably got to go. Um, unless we made... Unless we made the trade hall come all the way along here.
Let's start with this one is right in the middle, right? It's got to go. <laughs> Some weird lighting effects. Is that like the mushroom powered Aurora Borealis coming over my head? Are you guys getting that at all? Or is that just on my monitor? Yeah, you're getting the waves a little bit. Oh, I guess that was the sunrise coming up. I thought I was under, like, mushroom power or something. So, we could cut... We've talked about how all of this could get excavated or modified right and this is this is kind of our setup to the farms it is time to a little bit begin all this right we gotta gotta figure out what's really going on Oh, that was my. It's gonna obviously it's gonna be wide. Um, but what I what I'm kind of coming back here is if we started the stalls for the farmers and ran them this way, facing in. We'll have to have to have something on the background so they, you know, they still look attractive, a, a mural or something, <laughs> just colors, whatever, so that, you know, as we're perhaps boating or flying around, it looks nice, um, but the, the access to them would be along the way. So we come right from the, the farm with all the produce, hop on over here. And we got all our villagers in a line on this first side, right? And they're our primary, they're going to be our source of all our XP and our emeralds to get things going. And then when we've got them all good to go and we're, we're trading, we're all good, that's when maybe the next row on this side with a nice, nice open walkway becomes all of our librarians and we're trading them up. And of course, we could do some overflow. So if we wanted to do a few butchers or whatever, um, we could. But then, as I said, I think I think the harbor and making like a wharf shopping area and all that would be uh, kind of nice as well. But that way... Uh, those couple mushrooms on the corner, at least for now, can stay unless we want, you know, as as it develops and builds up, we can do more. Uh, but we'll drop this down to the the same level as our farm and have uh, the buildings laid in here. And then we'll uh, figure out the direction we need the carts to be going to. You know, we can either do a, a loop or uh, just come by this way to pop them in if if it's a left or right thing, um, if we set it up going that way, we should just be able to pop them in um, without any issue. Um, and I think, again, we can leave. Some of this will want to get cut, but we can leave the mushrooms... As is, ooh, I made a made a mushroom path. Uh, kind of leave that natural for now, at least. And you know, if we want to build a, a a new structure as time goes by out here, awesome. We're always planning planning for the next big thing, but we got a bunch of digging to do to get ready for all this. And of course, the whole point of that is to stay close. Oh, oh, red shirt guy, farmer as well. Do we have anybody? I need a... <laughs> Nobody up there yet, but 
uh, hopefully with our carrots planted and two farmers tending to them, uh, they'll get enough carrots where they can be trading back and forth. They'll have the hearts. Oh, we need a... Uh... We... <laughs> we need to go take care of something now. Uh, because now we want the little guys to go go through, right? I didn't move that block. Oop. Hi guys, how you? How's it going? Uh, don't let me get in the way of any uh, any passion. Sparks are flying. All right, now farm should be back in effect. Now they have access to beds. The beds have jumping height above them, so uh, hopefully no thunderbolts and lightning, right? Very, very frightening. We don't like the thunderbolts and lightning. We like the hearts, um, the babies bouncing around, and everybody happy. So let's leave them to it. Hopefully they'll be uh, quick on the uptake. Uh, we will keep working here. We'll probably need a bunch of iron shovels, but we can go back and forth. And this is probably the, the way to start this off, right? make sure that the farm is working we can check on it easily from here we can do our digging uh start getting this laid out before we go chasing supplies um and we do need to be thinking unless said the lorax what the mahogany mahogany wood is that what we're i, I Thought we agreed that uh, we were being modern, fanciful in this build. Um, part of that involves accepting the fact that bone meal can make mahogany hardwood trees grow uh, much quick. I am, I am definitely not proponent of real world deforesting uh, old growth rainforest just to get your mahogany bookcase or bed frame or dining table or whatever. Total trash and irresponsible. I mean, you know, it's just the stuff that takes all the carbon dioxide out of our air. So yeah, let's, let's not ruin all the trees, especially the ones that take more than our lifetimes to grow. Uh, old English oaks, same thing, right? Now, uh, man-made uh, planted forests, big fan. Forestry is an industry, sustainable. It provides tons of habitat in the years when those uh, white pines or whatever, uh, whatever... Uh, trees in your area grow for wood pulp for paper or um construction or furniture yeah let's uh I, i'd love I'd like I, how do you get to be a tree farmer right like it's pretty much just somebody made some money in your family right bought up a bunch of land and planted a bunch of trees and then uh, all you have to do is is every year you cut a few acres of them, you replant those, and you have this steady supply uh, where you cut, you know, each each section every 20, 25 years or whatever, as soon as the trees are big enough to be good uh, good hardwood. Uh, but long, long buildup. Uh, but how great would that be? You know, it's like, oh, yeah, I got to go out in the fields and... Uh, admire my trees growing tall and strong of course forest fire wildfire anything like that comes along you're pretty much wrecked uh now is this this is still 71 is this all right this is our right height right let's start trimming this back i don't even think this shovel is going to make it Nope, we still got one more. All right, well, that's good. Does that work with our, our portal? I guess I should come back across here before I dig out too much. Uh, 
And there goes our shovel. All right, that's fine. Uh, we don't need to be using diamond, silk touch, anything like that. At the oh, we're still still one up. What are we? We got to go down to this level here, and we pro probably need more chests to dump dirt into. Uh, when we come back, we will check on our villagers again and see if they gotten busy. Um, we don't need to see the young grow up or anything like that. We just need to see that they have some and that the beds and everything are accessible enough for them to be breeding uh, reliably and we'll be, be good to go. Do we remember if we still had stacks and stacks of shovels anywhere? Uh, that seems like enough for now. Oh yeah, and then we need the... Oh, chest. Oh, I was going to leave. <laughs> I was going to treat out beehives for the villagers. I forgot. We'll have to go back around and give those as, uh, you know, with, with letters home, right? We'll deliver the mail and uh, bring along some stuff. Let's do you, you. Is that seven? Six is better. Well, dunno, dunno. All right. What do we think? Did our villagers get it? Oh, uh, guy's over there. He can't get us if we go this way. Let's, uh, we'll need, well, uh, will we ever really need the dirt? Maybe not, but, uh, yeah, I'll just put it right. Oh, I don't, I don't have the dirt. Let's go get some dirt. Uh, there, anything to see here? Just looking longingly at their beds. Ooh, what to make for food? Um, I don't know, but I, I should make a food correction. I, I think I totally derped the other day when I was like, oh, yeah, I had some noodles the other night. Uh, this was a couple days back now. And I think I said they were butter noodles. No, they're egg noodles. Um, you put a little tab of butter on them when you're you're done cooking them with the peas and everything else that you had. But uh, egg noodles was what I had. Those were good. Um I got a couple couple possibilities for tonight, and I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna do necessarily. I've still got a little bit of ham uh, left over. I had some with the uh, well, some with the noodles and the peas the other day, and I had a little bit more with my eggs this morning. So I'm a little hammed out. Um, I do have some frozen fish fillet stuff, but. Usually I bake those, and I don't know. It's, it's kind of nice out. I don't know what I want to do that. Uh, oh, I might do like a casserole thing. I might do some uh, some rice uh, with veggies. Maybe like a, an Asian kind of rice. 
I don't have any like rice noodles or anything like that, but uh, just some some rice is fine. I don't normally do noodles and rice anymore. That's a lot of carbs, uh, especially at bedtime. But uh, on the egg noodle thing, <laughs> it wasn't much of a recipe. It, uh, almost, yes, I uh, I cooked egg noodles. Um, I microwaved some frozen peas. I microwave. I first, uh, so I've got like, like at least here, you go to the, the market, you can get, uh, um, uh, pre-cooked little, little chunks of ham, right? Uh, I don't know how, like a few, couple pounds, um, but it's like pre-cooked water added all that, but it's. You know, it looks like a very miniature type ham. Um, it's probably all kinds of processed and other thing, but you don't think about that too much. You just it's better than bologna or hot dogs, right? Um, I guess I could do hot. I do have some hot dogs, I think. Um, could do those. See, I, I'm not. I'm not one to throw food processing completely under the bus, and like, eh, you know. It's not my favorite stuff, but every once in a while, some of those things, a, a good processed deli meat of some kind sandwich is pretty good. Anyway, uh, the that thing, it was just um, egg noodles cooked, microwave bag of peas, um, maybe a cup, cup and a half of diced cubed ham, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then, uh, you know, very, very, very basic. I, I put like a little olive oil in the water with the noodles so they don't stick too much. Um, I don't really season the water with the noodles in it. Let them cook up. And uh, when they come out, a little, a little pat of butter to melt in, some garlic powder, uh, some salt and pepper. Uh, I don't even know if I put salt in. Usually I, I try to use garlic in place of salt. Um, crushed black pepper, a little Parmesan cheese when I served it up. Good eating. Very, 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 very basic. That's like a, a no effort -y one. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I ate so much today. <laughs> the the eggs, ham, and green pepper to start the day, uh, that's more than I normally do. So I don't know. I'm sure by the time we get done here, it's uh, it's two now. We'll probably go for almost two more hours, I would think, uh, before we think about wrapping up and see what we're, what we're involved in at that point. Uh, I really want to give these guys... A good chance to get going before I uh, either say, yep, they're all good, or assume that they're broken and that I have to do more. Um, and this is this is really pretty essential to getting started on our project. Now, unfortunately, I do think, I think we could probably save that red mushroom, but I think this one, this one's kind of got to go because this line... with the edge of the farm would give us enough room probably right here to do the the trading hall and the pathway back into the area right Ooh, we might have to trim the mushroom a little bit but yeah see how this this is still inside this whole shelf area, so you know we can start building somewhere here and not even be teetering on the edge too bad. Uh, we only got a couple spots left. Uh, the I would say these are more Italian. Um, 
they were the ones I was trying to describe. They're they're kind of wavy noodles. They're they're like maybe two centimeters wide, um, and not very long. Uh, like two, maybe three inches. I don't trying to remember. And they're they're just like subtly waved, but they're flat. They're a flat noodle, um, wider than wider than like a linguine, but kind of on that level, right? I guess I don't. I don't know. <laughs> this is what you deal with when you deal with a habage gourmet. Oh man, um, you gotta you gotta improvise. But no, they're they're very much more an Italian style than a Asian style noodle. Um, but I think it's I think it's pretty good eats. Now, the question, we got to do all this hill anyway. Let's go get this mushroom first, and then oh, then sort out the rest of this hill. Uh, but we'll have to... have to figure out where we do the height transition. Do we leave the portal low and bring the the shops and everything up to the height of the farms or do we drop the drop the shops and everything and leave the farm elevated above everything else in the area? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're. You know, it's like it's definitely not spaghetti. It's not macaroni. They're kind of linguine-ish. Um, yeah, it's so it, like seriously, in the time the the noodles are cooking, you know, you set the set the pan on to boil the water in the pot, and by the time it's boiling, you can have diced up all the little bit of ham, and then. Uh, um while the you know here here it takes a little longer to boil anything cuz altitude right water boils at a lower temperature so you got to add time to everything but uh in the time you you do that you can either do stovetop peas or or uh the little microwavey steam in the bag peas i'm so, uh, like i'm so lazy that was the best lazy in invention there ever has been um, microwavable in the bag peas, and I don't know what that bag is doing to them, but not having to wash an extra pot <laughs> just to boil up some frozen veggies, which I'll, I'll still do, uh, but it it certainly now seems like an extra hassle when you do it. And of course, nothing beats fresh peas. But man, if you're willing to if you're willing to put in the work to get your fresh peas, uh, you are a hero in my book. That's shucking peas is uh, that's why you have kids, right? <laughs> Here, shuck these peas. Big bowl. I was a kid, we had to clean corn. Of course, I did that as a job a lot much later, but even as a kid, they'd send you outside because all the corn silks and everything. And uh, a glass of lemonade or something in the summertime, like, all right, you go get all this corn cleaned up. Of course, that was back when my uh, mom was doing the totally wrong, like, husk the corn and then throw it in a kettle to boil it. No. You leave that corn on, that corn husk on, and you grill it. Or, worst case, you microwave it. Uh, well, second best, I guess, is microwave it, actually, in the husk in as an ear of corn. And then, uh, third best would be boiling uh, the corn on the cob. 
but oh man, all the nutrients and all that going away in the water, the flavor, the sweetness, it's all all washing away. Don't do it. Peas? Oh. Yes. It, um absolutely. Um and one of my favorite Italian is to get like the bacon, the bacon pea uh carbonara. Oh, so good. Or uh, like an Alfredo. Oh, I don't do that much anymore. I'm not I'm not a kid anymore. I can't uh can't just shake that up. Oh man, it's so good. Like, I, think, <laughs> I think if you ever got, you know, it's always like, what would you have for your last meal? I don't know what all would be involved, but I'm pretty sure if I'm not going to have to live with the consequences, um, there's going to be a lot of hollandaise and a lot of Alfredo in the mix. Uh, that would be outstanding. But yeah, you just, you know, some of those lessons in life you learn over and over again. Like, yeah, I really shouldn't do that to myself. All right. Well, here's this. Now. This is the big question. Do we work at this level or do we drop down another and go? And of course, some of the farm is all underground, right? I'm talking like street level where we're standing and where the villager ends up. So if we count that up, um, one, we're standing here, villager is standing there. We got the, the zombie in a trench back behind him, walking up and down. Uh, then villager's feet would be here. This would be the trade block. This is the block where we're all talking. Uh, they're, you know, kind of windowed in-ish. And then this level is the, the retractable platform spot right i don't need an extra drop they just walk along here fall down and then the uh the piece comes up over their head up there pretty sure and those are all uh, inverted stairs right on the sticky piston the sticky pistons back here where that all goes and then if that was the case That means they're walking at 74, and I think this is 75. So I think we're good. Yeah, this is 74. So, all right, we have, I, even if that ends up needing an extra one for clearance or whatever, I think we're good to make this the ground that the villagers and we stand on and all things considered that's pretty good because we can eventually make this into a building uh that the portals in and just you know doors but then you step down into an alcove so we can we can kind of kick that out make that in the middle um i love my runner beans i grow them too in the summer i don't know what you'd uh, call runner beans Dad would know. Uh, pool beans? I don't know. We we basically, I mean, there there's there are different varieties. Like, you can have wax bean or kidney bean or any of that kind of stuff. But uh, if you're talking, like, green beans, the, the long ones, there are two varieties of green beans here. Bush beans and pool beans. Uh, the pool beans being the ones that you, you erect... Uh, some kind of a, a trellis string, climbing strings, and then they climb the, the strings and uh, grow up to five, six feet tall and have tons of green beans off of them. Um, bush beans being the same thing, but designed not to, not to grow so tall. They just stay low, bushy to grow out in fields for farmers, but uh, all make the very similar green bean type stuff. Um, but if, if a runner bean is something more like a wax bean or, or a lima bean or something like that, I don't know it by that name.
All right. Well, that's that's really good. They all climb. The runner beans are about a foot long and flat. The actual bean? Wow. <laughs> nope, I don't know that. I guess we're going to... Oh, we can go up here and check. Let's just see. Has, has enough time passed for anybody to grow up and show up up there? Uh-oh. It's not necessarily disaster. Oh. I'm wondering if I can... I don't know why I can't. There we go. Are you guys, are you guys making the sweet, sweet love? That sounded, does that sound babyish? Can you guys step aside a little bit so I can peek down there? I'd really, really like it if you would. Come on, come over here and get these carrots. It's not. Oh, well, I guess it's kind of nighttime. Guys, please. <sighs> now it's not nighttime. Stop obsessing about the beds. There you go. Walk over here. Hey! All right. How you doing? You growing up big and strong, buddy? And the good news is, look at his head is already above the signpost here, right? So that's outstanding. That means he, even if he's standing here before he grows up, he can grow up and won't get stuck on the sign somehow. Um. How long is this one for? <laughs> I kind of want to stay and watch because how awful would it be if he drowns before he gets up to the top? <laughs> oh, it's a little creepy. That's why I'm watching. I'm watching to see about the growing up stage. Uh, and I just I, all I needed to do was get down here and make sure that they'd had one. Right? If they can have one then the path is not obstructed to the beds and we're good to go. Uh, I'm a little bummed that they only have one, but they haven't haven't had enough time to build up a ton of carrots. Once they've each filled their inventories with carrots and they're just tossing them all the time, uh, then the babies come every time they have a chance. Oh, see, that's what I'm worried about. Don't get stuck like that, dude. There you go. Just chill. Just chill until you grow up. <laughs> However long that takes. Uh, they are doing harvesting up above. That was that little whoosh noise. Da, da, da. I know. I know you need to grow big and strong. If I had... Uh... Would you like some mushrooms? Apparently not. What kid likes mushrooms, right? Yeah, I want some mushrooms. Dude, stop banging your head. I don't even know if he is banging his head. It just looks like he is, but we're going to assume that that is not a uh, concussion Calvin there. I think he's getting up above the sun, so safe. All right, dude. I'm going to drink some coffee. You should grow up.
so awful. The problem is, as soon as I go up there, and then nobody's up there with me, I'm going to start freaking out, and I'm going to need to go do this whole thing again. Uh, some more babies dropping down on my head would help. If you guys would get busy on that. I, I'm giving you your privacy. Can you can you take care of some business up there? No, don't look at me. Yeah, there you go. Go make a love connection. You still have... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Gotta have some guardian music. I don't know how to make you bigger, dude. Well, I do, but I, I don't have anything to, to do that. Sorry. Looks like he has a turtleneck on. Do you have a turtleneck, dude? Is it chilly? I always thought the Mushroom Island biome was kind of warm, but maybe, um, maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, I heard a, I heard a plunk. What was that? <laughs> huh. Dude, come on, man. You just stuck between mushrooms and growing up, huh? This is this is getting miserable. Come on, man. Do me a favor. Grow up. Be a pal. We got no, I didn't get any of the mushrooms. There's the mushrooms back. <sighs> This is not the best place for us to be. Come on! Do, do. Do. Do, 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 do. All right, we tried. How did I not? I, I was looking, I heard the, hmm. you're here, dude. And you're, <laughs> you're not like either of the parents. Hooray. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to give you a congratulatory mushroom, but I don't think you'd take it. Uh. Oh, he can't. He can't even eat out. So we might be able to get rid of this. Uh, I was all worried about him making a break for it. I forgot we had the, the half slab up there. Awesome! All right, it's working. Hooray! Hooray! Now. Um, Blackstone and Mahogany, maybe? Let me think about that combo.
we can leave all that stuff. I got coffee lip. Hang on a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get home and then I'm gonna get that paper towel I got next to me. I got some water. Shaving, shaving the lip. Oh. You can't get me neener, neener, neener. Like at least one went through. Oh, I guess I'm not out enough. There we go. Done and done. Okay. Uh, zip. Zip, zip. Oh, I just tried to pull it. Oh, gross. All right. Hang on a second. Mute. All right, that was nasty. <laughs> I don't know. What is it to chisel the coffee skin off your lips? Well, I did it, though. It's the second best use of the glass of water. I did drink some water as well, but uh, dipping the paper toweling in it to uh, scrub your lips. I don't know what all leftover goodies we have. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the appropriate uh, messaging is there, though. Um, know that we need shovels, particularly. I think. Uh, some more axes would be very well advised. Don't know we'll need those. Don't need this. Oh, we were going to harvest the farms at some point, too. I assume that the farms have been growing. Uh, on our way, let's go check the farms. Even though we've been close, we haven't actually looked. Hopefully, we've been there enough for those to be growing and doing their thing while we've been chilling out. So now we're kind of going the opposite way. It's all right, though. The order of thought there was, oh yeah, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should go do the cows again. Oh wait, no, we're really low on wheat. So those two were pretty close. Whenever we were finishing up the the planting, look at this now. This end makes a lot of sense. How about the far end, though? Yeah, here, here it starts to get a little iffy, right? Further and further from where we are working at. But I think... I think as we... Because we've been on the tower, right? The more we're working up and down uh, villager trading, it'll keep more of this loaded, and therefore... We should get 
uh, more growth all around. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, at some point, we need to harvest, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Um, we don't have a ton of moose at the moment. Uh, we just harvested, so it's basically about feeding, but I think we're down to like a stack, a uh, partial stack, stacking a bit of wheat. Not counting hay bales, of course, but be sufficient there. Sustainable. All right. Most important now is that... Uh, We should be good to have it be almost daylight when we get back. Also, you guys can help us towards our next enchanting. Should be stopped now. A few little stragglers in here. Donk, donk, donk. Oop. Donk. Oh man, whiskers on the mic. Sorry about that. And like uh, probably a very awful like mouth smacky noise, whatever that was. Still not. Um. Yeah. Let me remember where we parked the boat. Ah, uh -huh, I did. Always on the side. We don't look at all of them. Goodness gracious, it was crowded. A dolphin. Look how the vines just kind of shimmer in the distance. It looks nice. At least for me. I don't know if you guys get that. Get the shimmer. So, oh, 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 we never, never sorted all this when we were in pre-bucket days. There we go. So now at least we can go boat to boat transfer. We could cut more canal stuff in. Um, I don't know how I particularly feel about that what I'd really like is to cut uh, some of this so that the forest itself remains pretty intact but the
uh, like the wall of the forest remains intact, but then once we get in here, it clears up pretty nicely, right? And that was kind of what we were working on some of these trees that we were chopping through the middle of, but I think we were back kind of there a little bit. So we kind of like to keep going and whatever this tree is, it's next. So yeah, uh, Lorax is a, a little left out on this, but um, we're trying, trying to preserve the, uh, the habitat. Thin the forest a bit, right? Get it, uh, get it set for more growth. Let some light down. The younger, healthier individuals can grow, grow strong. It's basically mushrooms all over again. Oh, hopefully all this gets. A good chance to decay. Uh, we still don't know what happens to these things. Do they decay without trees or do they stay and do I have to hand clear them? Don't know. But if this is, that looks like a tree. That is still a tree. If we can get like a couple of those, then we've we've cleared our way through. And then then we can come in and just, you know, kind of cut from the inside here. Uh, but so that our coastal mangrove swamp is intact. Uh, now. Oh, that didn't. Don't know what trees are what here. If these are the... Oh my goodness. Scary, scary. Didn't hear anything. You didn't hear that? I know, I'm reading chat. I heard a lot of lightning and thunder. Hopefully not too many monsters waiting when I get down from these trees. This tree. Glad this is all one tree. Am I missing anything? This all looks good to decay, right? That. And this is where we don't know if any of these little mud sticks things are going to go. Doesn't appear that way. This one certainly doesn't seem to be going anywhere. 
Uh, this is a little a little backwards from what we want to be getting done, but. I do most definitely want what is going on here that that needs to go that needs to go you guys need to go it's not real quick but it's been using up axes This reminds me, I have no idea. Did we ever switch out our helmet? Yes. Okay, good. We should have probably been able to tell that, but... It's all good. Yeah, no aqua affinity kind of stinks. I think we would boat right over these pretty well. I also think I can probably do this a lot quicker. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, boat's still stuck over here. We didn't want to break our canopy of trees too much. Look at all this extra stuff. Oh, look at you fishies. You're be you're not piranhas or anything, are you? You're so beautiful. Look at all of you. So many colors of blue. I like it. I like how they're all coordinated. That's beautiful. All right, I think this this is pretty wide open. Um, not super excited about the lily pads, but... Oh, your frogs. And the slimes will help us with that. Let's just a uh, little light in the background there. And then, like I said, I really... kind of want to keep this open. Can I set these? Don't drown. Like, what if we go there? Yeah, that's kind of wonderful. All right, then we get back into this lagoon, and then then back here we could just kind of cut. Uh, the problem is these mahoganies are kind of pain in the butt to cut. What to do about that? I also have never really known if we if we go around and diligently get all these lily pads, will the lily pads be done or will they come back? I know I've asked this question. I think they come back slowly, but it's kind of one of those where you're always just going to be like, oh, did I just miss it?
See, like you think, oh, okay, I'm I'm really clearing out all this area, and then you find, no, oh, there's still a whole bunch, uh, and that's what always makes me not sure that I didn't just miss them. I mean, look at them all, right? They're so hard to see. I'm really doing a good job of wasting a lot of time today. I don't know why, but we've been we've been going five and a half hours. I'm just having some fun mowing dan uh, lily pads, not dandelions. It would be more well served to mow some dandelions for the bees. Oh, there we go. That's some good lily pad boat and music. It, it There's nothing in this game that is... It's like chicken eggs, right? Chuck eggs. When you're almost full in inventory, it is almost guaranteed you will hit a lily pad or pick up a chicken egg... Uh, just in walking around. And that's why I kind of obsess about, it. okay, we're going to open up an area. Well, then we're going to get all the lily pads out of the way first. And of course, some of them sink, and then they float back up. So there will be, like, floating lily pads just as bad as growing lily pads. All up in here. How did that one? How was that one there? Did that just spawn? These two are three are right back at the entrance. Oh, I think we went the other way. All right, that seemed pretty clean. Now there's a floater. There's a few more over here. Um. Some questions that we will be asking ourselves as we explore all this area. Uh, will the frogs be more visible, ready to get, uh, if we clear out all these trees? If we go in the mud, will it be easier to get the trees than climbing up through all the... Uh, deal like back in here, right? That's all land as opposed to trees growing over the water. It's gonna be a little quicker, but does it? We. This is the most appropriate this music has ever been. It's rarely appropriate. Oh. But uh, lily pad plowing. See, like these. Are you telling me those didn't just grow? Like, is this just an endless self-troll? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we could just hang out on that little sand point and wait and watch. Are there new lily pads showing up in my view? That would be as bad as watching for the villager babies, which, by the way, are doing nothing now. I mean, really, did I, did I have I missed all these? Like, how do you ever know when you've got them to start watching? 
I see nothing in the middle, right? Which one to pick up over here? Three. This is kind of edge. Gwyd's doing a happy dance like no lily pads in my way. These are all broken. Seems good, right? We will see. It's a lot of lily pads. Look at all those. All right. So we're going to definitely try this shoreline here. See how this works out for the chopping. Uh, we just need a good, good vine. Blip, 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 blip. What here? I got distracted. <gasps> no. Ooh. I like that tree on the top of the hill. So our canal goes that way. Our little riverway goes this way. We go either way. We go out around those are those uh, those peaks. Uh, it turns the corner there. Spawn is out behind the trees on this side. So I was kind of wrong that uh, all of that just connects. Uh, but other than our exploring over there, which I don't know if we saw that that was that open. I don't know if we knew there was a, another sea back in there, kind of an inland sea. Um, what that doesn't do is make this nearly as wide a forest as I thought. I mean, we can take down these trees... Um, but in all the, I mean, uh, granted, we just boated around a lot for lily pads, but in all the boating around, we didn't, didn't get that many logs of it, right? Maybe I just need to buckle down. And... Get the... Dude, that's not cool! What's he doing? It's been like hours since morning. I think it's like middle of the day. Now I'm chopping my way down towards a creeper. That ain't cool. These things remind me of mangoes. Anybody else think mangoes when I'm... Um... I mean, man man manga, uh, agma cream, for one thing, but they just, they got the colors, right? Looks very mango-y. I think they're very appropriate for the mango mangrove swamp. And I know mangroves and mangoes are not the same uh, but it always goes back to apocalypse now and character chef is like never get out of the boat right goes to get some mangoes
takes his little bucket. Uh, Martin Sheen goes with him. Look out for him. They find something in that jungle. <laughs> and they did find mangoes first, but uh, I think they forgot all about the mangoes. And he comes back saying, never get out of the boat. Stay in the boat. Uh, well, we'll try to get separate trees. Now, is that the branch to the tree I'm trying to get to? See, it's over here. You gonna connect? Or are you some other bigger tree? Or are you just a random, random log hanging out? Okay, that one goes there, but this one is close enough that we can get it down to nothing. Still very scared of that creeper. Don't know where he is, what he's doing. I think he went that way. Do we see him anywhere? You guys see creeper? Shh. Fortunately, they don't really make any noise, so we can't hear him. Da -da -da -da. Wait. What? Did you guys be connected? Nope. Because you're this tree. Oh, you're going to be tall too, aren't you? Dang it. Ooh, that's a lot of wood, though. I like this whole double branch thing. Good tree. You may be tall, but you got thick branches. And then what we got over here? You're still another tree. I'm just always worried I'm going to leave part of a branch floating. And, like, is this the same as the other trees? That's just awesome, though. So many logs. Oop, missed one. Those are roots, or whatever they are, muddy twigs, sticks. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Glad there was a vine there. I don't, oh, I guess it was behind me. All right, so we had that. It, yeah, we're getting thin. It's also getting night-ish. I sleep and get rid of the creeper. I don't see too much unconnected that's just 
hanging up there above our heads, so that's good. We did have this tree originally. This is where the creeper was and where all those extra pieces of wood are, so I'm glad we got down here before they despawned. Reaper, calling you out. High noon. We have saloon doors. We might as well have cowboy, cowboy callouts. Shoot ups. This is where the creeper shows up. <laughs> I don't trust for a second that that creeper is not coming. Anchor retrieve chopping is a serious game. Kind of jealous of Scash with Valheim and chopping trees from the bottom. Even if they can land on your head and kill you, at least you, uh, you can see what you're working with. Oh, this still has a bunch. You, you waiting for me, Creeper? Creeper, creeper. Mm -hmm. Now, when I planted these things before, uh, they grew their own little bottom pieces. Um, I'm what are you? Is that just the same uh, muddy mangrove root? So that's the same thing we can craft. I guess that could be our waddle daub stuff. I don't know. Um, man, don't even have two stacks after all this. This stinks. We should make a. Should make a spruce tree farm. 
make our villager mall out of spruce wood. I don't know what I'm going to use these for. But I don't think I want them just hanging out. They're basically just chewing up my axes, filling my inventory. Cool if you could craft, like, I don't know, a rope or something out of them. out for that. See the axe. <gasps> we got lots of roots. We could just make a villager stand out of roots. They'd love that. Okay, I know that felt like a, a huge waste of time, but I wanted to get some way shed here through the Is that the whole tree? It seemed like a little one. Otherwise, I would have gone more vine climby. Uh, let's see if we can break it off a little bit from the neighboring. I think I think it's good over there. I think the water will clear it. So yeah, it sounds like everything's breaking. Get all these vines, except for that one, because. I hear froggies. You baby froggy under the lily pad. Oh, I love it. You're adorable. Um, <laughs> kind of seems like these should go. Here we can get out of the water there. Um, yeah, I think I think this tree would be good to take. Didn't really leave myself a good way to get. Oh, oh no, 
Oh no, this isn't this isn't quite quite jungle tree climbing. Get up, get over here. Oh yeah. All right. Now it's almost night time. That is that fine? So that gets pretty close. Let's see if we can get a break that. All right, mangoes. That right, I think we see enough to start shopping. Oh my goodness, look at us, almost full. We finally just got two stacks of mahogany wood. Oh, mangoes. Got to use mangoes. Okay. I hear a lot of breaking. It's usually a good sign. Next branch. I see that way. pretty open. This obviously not. Mangoes! Oh, look at us. Getting down to roots. Everything I didn't want to. All right, way more stuff than we can carry, right? But we can use this boat as kind of a trash dump. Uh, because this isn't the boat, well, none of the boats are the ones that would go home, but this wouldn't even get us back to the portal. Uh, so, stuff in here can just hang out in here. But that's still not... Not a ton...
I like you frogs. If, if, let's, let's go. We got quite a bit of mangrove wood. And we'll definitely use it, but we'll oh, maybe use it selectively as an accent. Definitely in plank form, not log. Man, those those are a pain in the butt to harvest. All right. I thought we'd be coming back with chest loads of, you know, ender chests and all that, but man, oh man, oh man. I guess I really hadn't, you know, it, it always been like such a delight in, oh, we're in the forest, it's great, yay! And it's like, oh, we could, we could spend a whole stream doing that to try to fill a chest just to get the mangrove wood. Um... Maybe we do see if there's a giant version of mangrove. Like if we do the four and uh, bone meal and see, does that does that do something for us? I don't. I, did we try that in that whatever that world was? The little like uh, the C shaped um, potential home that. Uh, we didn't last very long on. That the was that the trident one? Oh my god. What's up, man? I haven't seen you live around these parts in a long time. How you doing, dude? Hello, hello, hello. What is up, my dude? How is it going? I know we've been we've been trading some comments and stuff. I haven't seen you for uh, for a little bit, even on your channel. But usually you're live all the time, so a rare treat indeed to catch a little uh, a little Omni visit. How you been? Life good. Oh my god, uh, that, that, uh, that's why we have a fence. Get out of there. Get out. Bad slimes. All right, let's put our mangoes away. Yep. All right, so we got we got a measly supply. What were we doing with the roots? We remember what we were doing with the roots? Oh, I guess we just don't have that many. Okay, that's good. Um, are you want a quick tour, dude? I don't even know if you've seen this world, man. Welcome to Terminal Turbidity. This is our world, and we're gonna take uh, Natalie Cole. Happy birthday, Natalie, yesterday. She's our super fast, awesome horse. This is our Mushroom Island. Uh, it's a whole continent. It's amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, All right, Natalie, you got to calm down. This is where all our mushrooms live, the cows. Uh, we got brown ones and red ones and regular cow ones. And then over here, we got uh, Jenny and Charlie and Sparky. Sparky being the original brown brown cow. Uh, so those are our, our animal friends. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you, you keep up. I know you do, man. You're so kind with the comments and the likes and all that. I, I love you to death, man. Uh, over here, we got... We still haven't found Bunny Palm. She's out there somewhere. I, I say she. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Bunny Palm... Very much guy. Could be. I don't know. Um, 
So these are farms, obviously, and I know you're a fan of the bees, so let's say hello. Hello, bees! How you doing? You guys are filling in here pretty good. We haven't fed you in a minute, but we've been busy. We're we're building it up so we can hang out around here. This is so much better than chopping mangrove trees, by the way. All right, Natalie, say hi to Bob Marley and your kid. Hi, kid. You're so big. Bob, you're getting pushed, man. You sit down in the sun and have a talk. Son, daughter, whatever. Uh, over here, in what we just set up, we had the portal. That's to get us back and forth from the farms. Uh, villagers are going to go along here. Been carving them out. Uh, and then today's project so far. All right, Natalie, don't don't go jumping in the ocean or anything. Is uh, our villagers that are now taking? Oh, look, they planted uh, wheat somehow. I don't know that I really want them growing wheat. I would much rather have them growing carrots. Um, but they're raising up villagers to come live up here. Uh, why is there still only one of you? Oh, because we... <laughs> because it wasn't loaded. They weren't doing anything. That's right. All right, look, my bed matches you. Don't get in the water, Natalie. Hey, come here. Stay over here. Sleep. <laughs> Uh, there you go, man. That's uh, that's most of what we got built. Um, but we're very much in a building week this week. We're gonna gonna get the first villager hall set up here today. Was a big day. Uh, just getting all that built up. And um, yeah, then we'll have all our loots good to go. And every time we horse ride down here, we load up these far ends of the farms, which we need to grow. So that's good. Well, it's looking better for having a having an Omni Zelic to hang out. We don't need to jump. Thank you very much, Natalie. Have a hay bale on me. <laughs> so, I think in all reality, we need to go... We need to change up our focus a little bit. Um, I think we need to use another block, and I mentioned it earlier. I think Blackstone is uh, the way that we could go. Uh, it has a couple of different iterations, which I think we will see all of here. Yeah, look at all that. So we could uh, we could use some blackstone, which again I don't think that's what we used in the last farms. If anyone wants to go check Necrophagia Taco, I think we were using Deep Slate and one of the varieties there, not blackstone. If we were using blackstone, let me know and we'll do something different. I don't want them to be the same, um, but I think this could contrast with. Do we have any? Oh, we don't have any mahogany planks yet. But the the planks that are kind of that red uh, on the inside of the mahogany, the mangrove logs. Why do I call them mahogany? I guess they're just mangrove. But I don't I don't know. Is there an actual mangrove tree? Uh, I always kind of thought that was mahogany. Anyway, doesn't matter. My thought is we go get a bunch of blackstone and then we can modify and use it. For anybody who doesn't know, these are the alternative options with the deep slate. Uh, use slate. Ah, <laughs> yeah, Mario, Mario, and me uh, getting down. So, these are all the other options, and these are what I, I we might have used some of this. I know we use the tiles around the farms or something, but I think we had so much deep slate from that basement that we were using all of these blocks. So I think Blackstone, different enough to mix it up, get, get us a different world feel. And we've got a couple stacks of those, but we can we can get a lot more of those a lot more quickly than we can the, uh, the mangrove logs. Those were super tedious. 
and I don't <laughs> look forward to chopping a bunch more of them. So let's go. Let's go check on. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yep. He's got a movie coming out, man. I, I got to hang with the celebs, the movie stars. So I don't know. Like, there's some black stone right here. And it's in pockets all throughout the uh, the basalt delta here. Uh, so we've got, got some areas. But I don't know that I want to mess up my nice little narrow areas around my portals. Think those are probably best left. So we could come. There's two options here, right? Oh, not right underneath. Uh, we could get out and away from home and look for pockets of blackstone. Oh. Or we could do the nearly suicidal thing. Uh, but it is a factor. And at least we should uh, we should divulge it as an option. I think it would be very slow at this point, but it is there, and we've only like s acknowledged it in passing once that it even exists. And it was right at the end of a stream. All right. Big boy. Oh. What was that little shift step? Cheating, dude. I don't get shift steps unless you're pushing me into the lava like last time. Uh, so here's our... Here's our, our path out to the nether fortress, right? And on our way back... Last time... We noticed, I think, is this where it was? This is what I was talking about, being confused about stuff. Wasn't there a blackstone? Dude, get in the... There. See how much better... Oh, no! Don't blow up my friend! Sometimes the best thing a friend can do is just back away. Where is the... Uh... Oh, there's another one. Oh, dude. Get, get in the water. The lava. Get dead. All right. Now your little guys can hang out. First try, almost. Boom. So I thought the Blackstone Fortress was right up here. Didn't we see one? All right. You guys got to help me out. I thought it was over there. I thought we saw it coming back from the... From the fortress. Am I wrong? Like when we were cruising around on the strider or something? <laughs> Shouted at you here. Only because you were trying to tell me that the lava slimes were cute and they pushed me in the lava. It was a love, a, a, a well-meaning, educating a friend shout. Dude, you, you've been cold this whole time. There you go. Warm up a little bit. It's cool. It's cool. I know. Um, I don't think we saw it back over here, did we? Like, we went exploring and all that, but... I don't think we saw the Blackstone there. We didn't see anything out there, really. And we came back uh, to look again. Um, well, dude, if I can't find it, it certainly is not a deal. It, it, again, it would be kind of stupid to... For one thing, it would force me into using whatever brick styles they use in the building instead of using the stone cutter to choose myself. So that's kind of sketch. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't stand on the edge like that. Just trying to get that little bit more visibility. Um, I 
guess we gotta go this way and see. You get away from my friends too. Go, go on. Get away from them. I know you don't bother them too much, but. I really thought it was out there. I, did, I was just talking earlier today about, yeah, I'm kind of losing track of stuff in this world. We're, we're seeing a lot. It wasn't going the opposite way towards it or anything, was it? I mean, I don't think it would be right on top of the fortress. Stop. All right. We're fine. It's fine. Everybody's fine. I got love for all you guys. Of course I do. Where the F did that go? I... I'm going to have more, a lot more love for Skash and, and other people that come back and actually tell me where stuff is. Thought you guys were the loyal chat followers and you're not even telling me where the Blackstone Fortress thing is. Ancient remnants, whatever. Now, it, it can't be here, right? This is the... This is the fortress. It's all fortress. Uh, but did we see it on the the strider or did we see it walking yeah all those f for fancy pants i know man i caught him in the middle of a 10 hour and yesterday he's like oh yeah i'm starting i'm starting at like 3 30 in the morning your time i'll be on and i was like awesome I checked before streaming. He wasn't. He came in here, and I was like, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? I didn't see you stream. He's like, yeah. Nobody was hanging out. I wasn't having fun, so uh, I stopped. And I was like, good for you, dude. That is, uh, that's the right way to do it. We agreed quite heartily. But, yeah, Skash is, uh, Skash is killing it. Uh, he said he was doing some multiplayer uh, Stardew, though. So uh, I don't know. I think he's got VODs. I haven't, uh, I will admit, I haven't really checked. I, I see him often enough on stream, like Omni, that uh, I just would prefer to hang out live and say hey and what's up. Uh, I, ser I, I was like saving it in the back of my mind. It was going to be right up there, just beyond where this crossroads was. So now if that goes back that way... Uh, <sighs> was it down here towards the farm? Is in wait, they can't even stand on the like you're on a magma block, dude. That burns my feet. You're still cold? Dude, sounds awful. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know if this is worth it. So if it was on a strider that we saw it... Could it have been further up than where that tunnel is, do we think? I'm going to have to go go back. <laughs> In is for no survivors. F-U-N. Uranium was the other one there, guys, in case you were playing along at home on the VODs. Uh... 
F is for frolic through all the flowers. U is for you and me. F is for friends. Do things together, and that's F U N fun. Yeah. <laughs> Spelling. Okay, that was the first try. And then it was F is for fire that burns down the whole town. U is for uranium bombs. N is for no survivors. Wait, what? Uh. Can I? Oh, man. Now you got to deal with this stuff. This is total sidetrack again. We're supposed to be getting Blackstone for our build. This is what happens when you go for over six hours and you have friends hanging out. Uh, it just all goes. Well, it kind of all got, got wrecked when we started lily pad hunting, didn't it? Oh, oh. Are we there? Those don't look like bricks necessarily. Oh, this is it. All right. And most of it is not bricks. Um, now, there is a buttload of blackstone in one of those things that we can, we can level down. Usually I go top down and... Uh, we could mine it. Uh, we've seen how very dangerous it can be, and I don't have netherite or even all diamond bending stuff yet. So, super sketchy, uh, but also super fast. And I'm wondering if we, like, the bottom is terrifying. But if we carefully, with this as a kind of safety, right? They they won't jump. And I don't I don't think I don't want to get like head bonked and fall in the lava, especially if I'm running from mobs. But. At least it was in the spot that I thought it was. I wasn't completely crazy. See? There you go. Um, but maybe like a fortress, we can just hollow out the bottom and be careful of opening up rooms like this where they could just walk down on us. See how that opens up? Yikes. Now, we are wearing gold. So the normal piglins will not get us, but the brutes, the axe dudes, they still might, as far as I know. As far as you know. As far as any of us know. What do we what do any of us know, really? Um not completely crazy, yeah. That's why we that's why we get along, man. That's why I got love. Okay, so if I went... There, that could be a stairway up. Just trying to keep some of this future stuff accessible while we'll also grabbing a bunch of this quickly. Hopefully safely. Oh, wow. Um... Oh, did I... <laughs> there goes my staircase. 
Here, maybe I should mark the staircase by making it with netherrack, right? That would help. I don't all know. <laughs> it could be. I, I don't want to go to heaven. I mean, hey, you know, uh, compared to the alternate, uh, probably, but uh, not yet. Not yet. We got a lot to do in this world. There's no, no time for dying. Uh, don't burn up. All right, then. Like, I hear their built-in default crossbow noises, but I don't think they should want to come after me. The axe dudes, maybe. And that's why I'm trying to be very, very careful. Generally speaking probably what gets me killed generalities um the axe dudes are gonna be f much further up not right in here It is cool in here. I just I don't want to stay here permanently. You know, I, I like I like my mushroom island. I like my my cows. I want to get back there. All right. How we doing? See, that's like already more than all those mangroves we got in like an hour of expeditioning. That was just for the birds, man. Uh, can we do... Seems This seems very scary. I don't think I should be doing this at all. Oh, see, there's already lanterns. So far, we haven't we haven't bumped into any oh any of the residents. We're not here for gold. They will get very angry about the gold. So let's just leave that. Doing good as it is. I don't want to step into the lava. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, uh, we've reached the edge of a building. Oh, we found a first resident, but it is just a pig man, a zombie pig man. Now, they did kill me once, uh, but only because it was that weird, a weird island thing. Oh, man. All right. Oh. Oh, it's so scary. What was that 80s song about the female artist? Even some song or some, something song is so scary. <laughs> you didn't you didn't like my musical renditioning? No, it's not. It's a song by a female artist that has that something, something is so scary. It's like an 80s song, I think. And it sounds like even like even downtown or even down times or something like that are so scary. I don't know. I'm not a music guy, clearly. Uh, now, do we think we can peel back this whole next layer without absolute devastation of ourself. Like opening up to 
hostiles. Oh, it's so tempting. Oh my gosh, we gotta be we gotta be way better armored because they will get they will get pissed. And we're not here to piss anybody off. We're the uh, we're the improvement crew, right? We're just opening up the place for them. They they hired a contractor. Uh, we're one of those that's better at the demo part than the uh, the reconstruction part, at least as far as they know. Oh, they know all these materials going back home. Uh. No, I get paid by staying alive. I know that song. That's not. Oh, where you at? Where are you shooting from? That way? Oh, there you are. Well, like the oh oh hoglins. All right, our time here is done. We we could use a diamond silk touch, but. Um, we survived, and that was that was stupid, frankly. Trouble? You think that's the song? <laughs> he bravely ran away. Turned his tail. Dun, 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 dun. Brave, 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 Sir Habbage. I'm much more down with the ghasts than uh, than those uh, brutes. Those things are nasty. I like that emote. That is strong, dude. Oh, 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 oh. I was looking at your emote almost went in the lava. What is that all about? Hang on, let me get home. Let me scratch my nose. Got some maps. You see, you met all the dogs yet, dude? We got uh, Snowflake. We got... Claw guy, and we got Oliver. All right, what are these? Sings note, my avatar. Like, and the tramp? I think she's eating noodles, dude. Alright, how does this how is this getting us? Uh we got a row. I th uh, do we even want to set it up first? I was thinking about laying out the floor where the villagers would stand, but I know we got to put the redstone and everything down underneath it. Um, let's not do anything today. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I think I got to go back and watch Logical Geek Boys video just to refresh. Uh, you know, I know we got to dig out like three deep. Uh, we got to have redstone. At the bottom, which is the switches, which lowers the villager, right? That's the sticky piston that goes up to their feet and drops them down to the level of the zombies. So we'll have to have levers and redstone and slime balls and all that for those. Um, and then we got to build, you know, building up. So that's the lowest level. If if it's like lever, redstone under the lever. Uh, over to the sticky piston, which is pointed up to their feet. Uh, redstone and sticky piston are the bottom. And then uh, up one 
is zombie feet, and these pull down so that they'll then be able to attack. Um, and then the back of the zombie wall would be one more over, and that would build up. Eventually, that's where we've got observers with string um, and the sticky pistons over the zombie's head that are going to move the floor in and out for the, the villagers to go. But we need um, two sticky pistons per per villager, uh, an observer per villager, and a lot of this stuff takes like iron, and let's let's look at what some of these things take. Observer, oh, look at me being all capsy. Nether quartz we got. Uh, redstone dust, we got plenty of cobble. Eh, we're a little short after having built everything today, but uh, th those we should be able to build, no problem. Then we need sticky. Oh, we may not have the recipe yet. A piston, though. The sticky piston is basically just a slime ball on a piston. Iron, cobble, wood, and redstone. Uh, should be pretty good. Again, we'll just have to go, go get some cobblestone, I think, to have it in bulk for all this stuff. Uh, we'll have to go get the slime balls. And, um, yeah, I know it, it, we are winding down, as you can see, I, we need to go get slime balls and we know where that is, but I think we're going to kick off the next one with those. What we probably will do, I'll go that, I'll go the half hour to, uh, end at the top of the hour, but, um, I think let's go, let's go farm at least the wheat, right? We really need the wheat for the XP and the cows and the enchanting and all that good stuff. Uh, and we can check in on our villagers and see if we can't get a couple more of those. Dude, you gotta be right, right at my doorway? Get out of there. Shoot. Go on. Bad lava slimes. Go. Go on. Scat. Do we think that the scat that, uh, I don't know about your guys' grandmas, but my grandma used when, like, the neighborhood cats came around her house and were, you know, like, chasing away the birds from the bird feeder and all that, and she'd get out there with the broom. Scat! Shoot! Do we think that's associated with poop? Like, the real scientific scat word is? Oh, man. Or, uh, is that just a happy coincidence? What the? Where did you come from, dude? All right. Well, at least we're getting a lot of XP. We can we can enchant again. There it is. Ah, uh, that could be the next uh, next silky pick. How many of these do we think are trying to pop through the? Well, into the fence right next to it. We zoop. Happy accident. You think it is a happy accident? All right. I knew you were in here. <laughs> yeah, that, that freaked out the world a little bit. Whoa. Woo hoo. All right. Hold on. Uh, the problem with the, the almost seven hour stream is the cost. That was the last little dribble. I got water. I can be hydrated, but sad no more coffee. All right, what do we do? Oh, we're checking. First of all, we're checking. Come on, please, somebody. I know we haven't been here any more significantly, but I want to see our little red shirt dude make it up. All right, let's go farm. Have the same problem, no coffee? Oh, ran out while you were streaming? Yeah, but you're always like energy drinks and all that. That's like another can or something out of the out of the fridge. Like I'm there's no way I'm making more coffee at this hour of the day. That's that's guaranteed no sleep. Hey.
Again, we won't hit the bees if we're already engaged with the crops, right? So I think I think we're safe there. I, I've been terrified in the past, but no. They're safe. We're safe. And... Nope. There. Wheat? <sighs> Our melons and pumpkins almost got done again. Uh, we didn't didn't harvest much yesterday, but we really weren't here too much. We did this floor, um, but that was. I don't even know. Did we harvest after that or before? Maybe after, right? Because we were already spreading out the chests. So other than us being on the far side of the island, or, you know, this little hill behind me right now, uh, we haven't been right here at all. And they've still done pretty well, thanks to the bees. Thank you, bees. We should all thank the bees every day. Go on. I'll give you time. I'll wait. Thank you, bees. You know, it's like that that forced like PA moment of silence for whatever, whoever it is. And it's like, you know, you know, right? Anytime you're at a stadium for those things or a school assembly or whatever, you're just like, the PA person is sitting there going like, "You got to you got to hold it long enough that it can be um, significant. That you're not you're not like backhanding whoever it is, whatever community. You know, uh, all right. Let's let's say it's the uh, Turkish Syrian um, her, uh, earthquake victims, right? You." We're gonna ride Bob Marley for a uh, for delivery. Bob Marley, you ready? Uh, now I gotta worry a little bit about your child coming out with us. There you go. Bob Marley, not as safe or as speedy as Natalie Cole. Um. But he's beautiful. He's got a golden mane, dare I say, like a lion. Uh, it's more creamy when he's wearing his, uh, his golden armor. But uh, again, that's, that's what the buffalo soldier would wear. Yeah, you're, you're just, you know, not all horses are built as fast. All right, well, that was a, a mission of mercy, dude. Now we can feed the uh, the mushrooms again. Uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, now that we've got up to... Uh, oh, I guess I don't have levels when I'm on my horse. That I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Also, this is this is the way we fall into big holes when I cut cut corners. I think we're back on the familiar track. Oh, now I get now I got Buffalo Soldier in my head. Oh, uh, we're definitely not jumping into this horse pasture again, or corral, or whatever. I guess it's, <laughs> there's really not much pasturing in there. It's definitely a corral. Um, oh, we never did make our chests for these. They were borrowing space in the beet seeds, weren't they? But 
like potatoes and carrots are the two biggest crops, right? We've already filled up multiple rows with each. Um, should we run back and get chest making material and finish out those two? Always bees. Oh, but yeah, but the uh, the moment of silence, PA guy, right? Like, he's gotta gotta be respectful. He's gotta not cut it too short. But at the same time, you know he's just sitting there, like, on pins and needles for that one, one immature little a hole that's gonna start screaming something obnoxious because he's got ten thousand people in an arena around him and uh, can steal the the moment to try to be silly and funny. And you know, given enough time, it's gonna happen, right? It's gonna happen. I was. Uh, I was saddened, and I don't want to. I don't want to kick them when they're down because they they are kind of my my university's rival. But I just don't get it. Um, oh man, I thought we got all of you. Go away. Um, it's like cockroaches. They just keep coming back. Uh, the, the local news is is buzzing, right? And it, it's it's just sad and it's stupid. And it, again, it does not reflect all the student body or anything like that. But at a Colorado State basketball game uh, the other night, some of the fans, there was a Ukrainian player on the other team, and he's shooting free throws. And like any any student body, you know, fans, all that, they're trying to distract him, get him off his game when he's shooting free throws. So what did the fans, or a few of the fans, I don't know, I wasn't there and I haven't even heard it. What did the fans start chanting? They start chanting Russia, Russia, Russia in the auditorium. Uh, and Omni, I know, I know you got background there. I, I, this is nothing to do with you or anything, but like it just doesn't, it doesn't even make sense that... First of all, the guy, his parents are refugees from the Ukraine, and <laughs> we as a country are condemning the actions of Vladimir Putin, not the Russian people, but the the entity invading the Ukraine. But the fans start chanting for Russia just because a dude is trying to make some free throws? Like, what's wrong with it? Like, what? 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 I don't understand people sometimes. Um, wood. That's what we're back here for. To make chests, we need wood. Uh, we don't... God, these. I'm not using those. We'll use these. We gotta make a spruce farm at some point. Just so we can have logs. We got all those jungle trees. Um... We can at least have six double chests each. Scash. Uh, uh well, yeah, I mean they you know, they're they're kind of going back through, but yeah, they're they're trying to determine were they students and did they violate their student code of conduct. But it's just so like Dude, you know, and it's, I don't, I don't know if they have alcohol or anything at their games. I have no idea. Um, but I just, it's like, do you, you realize what you're saying? You're like, uh, you're making free throws is, uh, is worse than, uh, than chanting the name of the the country that's currently in the midst of an invasion and attacking i, I just total baffle uh and i know i know sports makes people do a lot of crazy things um but that that one was you know it just hopefully the people learn their lesson right and hopefully uh I don't know. Hopefully the, the university is like, you know, maybe we need to put out a little something about uh, current world events. I, I just, how can you be that out of touch? Didn't make any sense. Anyway, um, for our organizational sense, uh, we had 
set up to have the crop at the far end of these, and some of them didn't have enough, but we did fill these. So I think we'll start, excuse me, at the far end of each and do three double chests. So that would be here. And Skash, by the way, welcome back, dude. I don't know if I don't know if you ever left. I know you lurk a lot, man. You are uh, you are rock solid. Um, and don't worry, I found <laughs> I was able to find my way to the uh, the ancient re remnants, whatever they are, bastion remnants. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I you know it, it's it's a very gray area in. American college athletics, the whole taunting deal, you know, generally, in, at least in my opinion, um, you go to a professional sports event, you kind of, you kind of have that right, right? You can, you can get on. Now there's limits, right? You, you know, uh, it, I, I personally, I think if, if you're going to start throwing racial, uh, gender, you know, uh, sexual preference or orientation or any of that kind of stuff at a player, anything that, that is, you know, outside of their control, you should be ready for the fans around you to start taking you out in the, the concourse, right. And, and taking care of business. I think, I think that is totally outside the line of, of any kind of sportsman conduct. But, you know, if, uh, if you're, baseball outfield you got the center fielder there's nothing going on and you're the you know it's a you're just kind of kind of sitting there um and the, the guy can hear you you know you you kind of remind them of stuff to get in the the acknowledgement like oh yeah i saw you uh you went over three last week how'd that go you know that kind of you know their stats that kind of stuff uh all about it or you know you're looking you're looking a little tired out there hey uh remember when that home run just went over your head and you kind of jumped it looked like you had about four inches of vertical that kind of stuff 100 percent behind and in university stuff i'm kind of along the lines of their their game too and nil stuff that's happening in the u.s that only furthers that right these are these are now players that are very much on the path of getting employed uh, paid, compensated to play their sport. And yeah, you pay a lot of money to go see them play. Um, but generally speaking, you know, other than, other than cheering and waving your arms and making noise and all that kind of stuff, when somebody's trying to make a free throw, uh, you, you can try being that, being a good engaged, uh, vocal fan, but you're the personal attacks, the stuff that they can't control. That's ridiculous. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm with you, but uh, it's a, it's a way that will make people cross lines that they later regret, right? That, you know, had they been, had they been sober and not done all that? Uh, yeah, they, they probably would have made a different choice. So yeah, it doesn't excuse the behavior at all. No, I, I, I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying that oftentimes is what leads to people then being the next day, waking up and being like, dude, you know, your friends are, are all gathered around you. Like, what were you thinking? Uh, you know, and whether that's relationship stuff or anything else, uh, there's a lot of, that's the whole regret thing, right? Um, people do, do stuff. Um, okay. So, but uh, never to the point where I want to disrupt someone's life. Yeah. I, I don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, everybody reacts differently to alcohol. Uh, some people are, are very happy. Some people are, are very confrontational. And sometimes it just, you know, you're having a bad day anyway. Uh, you, hey, let's all go out. And and stuff that's just eaten away underneath the surface uh, bubbles up. And, and, hey, look, we've all got, you know, Omni, Omni, we all joke about it, but we've all got... We've all got sides of ourselves that we wish were better, and you you lose that control when uh, when the alcohol starts flowing. So again, I 
I just wish it hadn't happened. I, I wish any of that stuff doesn't happen. But yeah, absolutely. The the people that it was just such a head scratcher, right? I mean, every time there's a the Super Bowl is coming up, right? There will be some some idiot there saying something offensive. Uh, I think I think generally society's getting a little a little less tolerant of that. There are more more people willing to turn around, and I think a big part of it is is very much the price of tickets, right? The um, the younger, younger kids, yeah, you got disposable income and you're willing to go, but there's a lot less of that. Hey, we're going to drink a, a, a 12 and some cheap, uh, rock whiskey or something, and then go into the stands and just be obnoxious for the excuse of getting drunk. Uh, you get a lot more, um, a little bit further along in life, parents and fans bring in kids trying to make it an experience. And I think the, the hosts, right? No, a lot of people are just more willing to watch stuff on TV, um, than go to a game. So they don't want to want to get in the mix either. Uh, or, or have people get in a mix. Uh, they want, they want you to be able to feel like, yeah, you can bring your kids, you can buy them the hot dog for 10 bucks plus, I don't even know. And, uh, you know, a uh, I think literally a sixteen dollar beer at the the college basketball games I go to. Um, sodas I think are are close to ten dollars. It, it's just, I mean, everything you know the the whole inflation thing is just an excuse to to bounce up uh, prices even more. But you look at it, I was like, uh, here in the United States. A and W, A and W root beer. I don't know if that's international or not, but um, but they're kind of a an, a second tier fast food chain, right? They they have their root beer sodas, but they also have uh, you know burgers and dogs and all that. And it's um, basically a cross between like a a Dairy Queen ice cream um, and a, a fast food joint. A little bit of everything, kind of throwback uh, style place. I, you know, they're not, they're not competing with anybody for best burger or best fries or anything, maybe best root beer. Um, but they, uh, they were running an ad last night that I saw that was like, you know, kid, kid and his dad and his dad's like, man, I remember when you could get a meal for five bucks and the kid's like, oh man, I, I just did. It's this, uh, this burger and, uh, burger deal on at last Tuesday at A and W and I was like, okay. And there <laughs> they go on to, it's like the small basic cheeseburger, a small fries and an A and W root beer for $5 only on Tuesdays, <laughs> like you got to go in on the the slow day of the week for uh, something that, as an like a kid, yeah, that that probably fills them up and, and takes care of it, and it's a good deal to you know go take your kids. But you know, an adult is not not filling up on that, and uh, is is either going to need to buy more or uh, or come back for. Uh, another, you know, come back a different day, right? And I, I, I don't, I really, health wise and everything else, I just haven't done fast food in a long time. But the I, the prices stagger me. I'm like, seriously? You hear people are like, oh yeah, you know, I went over. It was like twenty dollar dinner. Uh, got got some McDonald's. It's like, what? What did you get? Oh, uh, like you know, a quarter pounder and some uh, some nuggets and a shake. And uh, yeah, that was it. Like twenty dollars? Are you serious? <laughs> You can you can still go to a real restaurant for that and uh, and get uh, more than just that. So I don't know. Uh, I guess everybody hits that point when it's like, man, I remember you know I remember when and this and that. But there's a, a tipping point when you're like, no, nah, it's just so much more than what what I was ever conditioned that this kind of stuff should be should cost that uh, I can go take my dollar elsewhere, right? Um, 
and we'll adapt and, and adjust and all that. And at some point, it'll feel less jarring. But right now, man, oh man, that seems seems steep for just the you know the, the convenience of quick food in a sack. That's not that good. Omni, I appreciate you dropping by, dude. You are awesome. Thanks for hanging. Uh, we'll catch you. I don't know that it will be uh, be tonight necessarily, but uh, or if you're even going. But uh, I'll be keeping an eye out for you. So uh, can't wait to catch you live. All right, let's get these carrots. Then we'll go back and enchant. And then we will call it a very successful stream if if we've got more villagers up in the top of the tower. Oh. Yeah, Jenny. <laughs> Tell him. That's awesome. Yeah, don't be a stranger. Uh, we, had, uh, we had some old friends dropping by. Israel is cool was in here saying hello earlier, which I, I uh, if you're watching the VODs, Israel is cool. It's great having you. I always I always wonder. I called out Israel is cool early on. I'm like, dude, I, I think this is just a bot account because Israel is cool repeats uh, the same messages over and over. And I'm like, dude, this is a bot. Um, but when I've called uh, called out, so I don't know if it's like an account um, with just drops, but. Uh, we've definitely had some conversations along the way, which if it's AI, good for it. Um, Israel was cool. Told me about his vacations at times. Um, and with the very first time when I was like, I don't, I don't know that this is, uh, this is real people, but you're always welcome. Bots. Hey, you come in, you want to boost up my viewer numbers, be a bot. As long as you're not, uh, spamming messages, I'm good. Or, or I hate bot or something like that. I think we've covered that in the last 10 minutes. Um, uh, yeah, come on in, boost the numbers, say hello. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Hey, it's been a minute. Like, it's good to see you. And I'm like, hey, awesome. How you doing? All that. <laughs> like five minutes later. Hey, it's been a minute. It's good to see. Hi. Uh, I'm like, yeah, dude. Um, I got your. I got, got it. I tried to reply. What's going on? So I hope Israel's cool is doing good. Um, I hope. Uh, hope you don't be a stranger. It was great. Great seeing you. Uh, last time we really chatted much, uh, Israel's is Cool was getting back from a vacation. So I don't know if there's been more of that or just busy with school. Um, but hope life is good. And then, of course, um, Skash, you you absolutely rock. Um, here early, here late, lurking. Um Top top. I was I was really open uh, and I was watching for it uh, this morning. So I'll keep an eye out. Uh, see if we can catch you in chat uh, coming up. But this is fantastic. This represents emeralds. Um, we're we're getting set up. Like I said, I think it's a two dayer. Uh, we started getting a few supplies. We're gonna have to get more. Uh, and it is always a pain in the butt to try to get everything set up. I don't think we'll have have them zombie infected and healed um, in that time, but we'll uh, try to have have villagers in place infected. Oh, look at that. I see multiple faces. Yay! And one of them's got the red shirt. <laughs> hooray! Hooray! Oh, excuse the sniffle. Three? At least three. We really need to make a step. Do I have a... I still don't have a step lock. That's fantastic. Let's go. Let's go through. Taunt. Congratulate. We need to hand out cigars. The new parents. Um. All right, we're we're heading back through. Oh, look at you guys. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to wa wait back to back. Oh, okay. Do 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 do. You want to go down the hole? I'm going to go down the hole. You want to come with me? Let's go. Oh, you want to? <laughs> you need some parent bonding time? That's cool. 
I understand, but I'm afraid if I if I push in, I'm gonna push you push you guys in. I can't I can't push you. See your head, your hat. If you guys would just be level headed there, see how their heads come right up to the line if they ever hold them level, and mine doesn't. So that's why I can walk under this, and they can't. Um. Now he might wait until night. He also likes to jump on beds. So that could do it, but I am not cool, guys. What is this wheat nonsense that you guys are spreading? It's got to be all carrots all the time. Oh, he went. He went down the hole. All right. That's good. Um, maybe it doesn't. I mean, they can trade wheat. All right. We're going. We're taking our window. Get. Ah, oh, look. He got company. All right. This is great. And this is how it should be, uh, just so everybody knows. When we were standing here waiting, it was just... It's got to cycle up. They should breed twice a day. And by the time, there should always be a couple down here waiting to grow up as they're breeding um, and loading up. So anyway, seems to be working. Now we just got to spend the time. And as we're building up the villager breeder, uh, not even setting up the rail stuff, uh, we will get more and more uh, folks assembling up here. And I guess we can get either one of the the parent uh, outfits or the natural local one, which I guess is the classic brown-robed villager. So good for them. I'm glad you guys are all doing great. Now they can't. We can leave this open. They just like with the trapdoor, they can't get uh, get out there. But uh, on the off chance that any any little guys get up here, keep that. Keep that locked down. Awesome. So happy that's all working. I think it looks decent. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys are, uh, are watching over on YouTube. Likes, uh, always appreciate it. I know this is a long one, but if you're jumping up to the summary, we built this. Um, this is a, a receiving area for our two villagers, which are now in. So it's basically basically done a greenhouse where they can grow apparently wheat along with the carrots that i planted for them uh trade those up make villagers make baby villagers which then go down the chute we just did it uh shoot up to the top and they will gather we got three of them up there now two more in the hoppers so to speak until they uh they grow up and can shoot up the water spout so those guys are all good uh over here we did a little bit of leveling uh, preparing this, our first uh, farmer villagers are going to be in stalls going all the way along here. And uh, once we get them, hopefully in the next two streams, set up and ready to go, then we will have um, a chance to set up librarians. And we'll have a steady supply of emeralds from all our farm crops to trade with them and profit get the mending books that we need and uh, set up our gear to last forever. Then it's on uh, onto dragon fights and netherrack and clearing out ancient bastions and admiring Bob Marley standing on top of the hay bales and his water trough, I think. Uh, I, I wouldn't leave your hind end over the water trough. I tried to do that so you guys would have fresh, clean water. <laughs> Look at you. That's your dad, man. You respect your dad. He's greatness. All right. Uh, do we have time to get all the way back over to... No, we're already over. It's 7.04 in terms of duration. Uh, but I think we'll do it. we're going to do it anyway. We will head... Oh, we have enchanting. I guess you got to come back. Uh, come back tomorrow. We're going to double enchant, I hope. Um, but at least we'll get a few more levels... Uh, from the zombies when we start up tomorrow. So we'll just run all the way back past home and uh, park it, start up tomorrow with the zombies. But uh, count this is your recap, right? Oh, dude. Oh. All right. Well, that that was huge though. That 
we needed to get all that done. I knew it was going to take some time. I know we'll still have to do a little bit more resource gathering to get everything just set up the way we want it, but we're close. We looked at looked at the materials. We've got some quartz. We can get more. Um, I really, we're going to need wood from trees. That's where, where wood comes from, if you didn't know. But I think... If we limit the amount of mahogany we use in the in the trading hall, we can uh, hopefully get done pretty quick with the the blackstone um, and all the the other bits we need. Uh, we'll have to spend a few nights out in the swamp to get all the. Uh, all the slimes from green regular slimes that we need uh, but we can do that it should be should be very doable we'll chop trees get slime balls be able to make our sticky pistons um, we are gonna have to get a few more spiders that should come with the slimes though um, oh oh hello what you guys that's a dangerous duo, if ever there was. Uh, should I? We need those. Three of them! Awesome. Thank you, looting. All right. So let's go park. As you guys already heard, great day today. Uh, appreciate you guys checking out the VODs. I so appreciate it. And to everybody in the chat, uh, the lurkers that I'm not acknowledging, Israel is cool, Skash, Omni, and, of course, Jenny hanging out for, uh, well, Skash, I don't know how much you lurked for, Jenny uh, chatting for hours today as she uh, lived the life of a uh, a channel hangout come join be a part of the chat uh you guys you guys that are here i love you to death uh omni scash jenny uh you're here so often you make this a blast and i appreciate that you guys enjoy me doing it thank you uh forever i'm truly grateful to everybody else i'm no less grateful and i certainly appreciate um the the steadily uh it, yeah, increasing, waving, but uh, but steady numbers over on YouTube. People are checking out these uh, these videos uh, on a daily basis, and I appreciate you guys for it. Keep them coming. Uh, the likes, the comments, so great. Um, but more than anything, drop in. Don't be shy. We'd love to love to have you be a part of the banter. Uh, share your thoughts. Tell me what I can be doing better, or remind me where ancient bastion remnants are that I've misplaced. Um, you guys. Have a great night. Uh, it's Tuesday. I'm gonna be. I am going to be laying low. Uh, some reading, some outside. Uh, let me do a little walk. Although it's a little chillier. It got finally got warm. Um, probably staying off most of the interwebs with the U.S. Uh, State of the Union stuff. It just gets so toxic. Talk about talk about sports fans and all that. Uh, people let politics go to their head and just get crazy. Don't be toxic. Remember, your friends are still your friends. Uh, your neighbors are still your neighbors, and they're not just uh, just monsters if they don't happen to agree with your political outlook. Uh, treat people, give them a smile, an extra an extra wave. Be awesome to each other, and no matter where you are, if you're struggling through the aftermath of an earthquake, why are you watching this? Go <laughs> go help people um, if you can. Bundle up some clothes or make a donation. I don't know. I, I know our local news was very up in the air on how that was getting set up. They basically were like, uh, the closest embassies are in Louisiana and San Fr or Los Angeles. Um, you can reach out to those, but we're, you know, we'll get you the word on when local charities and stuff are making uh, donations available to get to uh, Turkey. Uh, I don't know how, how well aid can get into Syria. I have no idea. Uh, but... Uh, Hoping for all the best for those people. Um, it, it's never a good time, but uh, hey, it's winter there too, and a lot of that is is kind of mountainous, rugged terrain. So uh, I, I just hope people can can find their loved ones, um, be comforted, and, uh, and get through it. Anyway, uh, take care, stay awesome, 
and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We're doing more of this. We're getting that villager trading hall going. So uh, come be a part of it. We'll catch you all then. Let's save it. We got zombies in there. We'll have more tomorrow as we get going. We'll go chop them up with an iron sword and uh, be a part of this. Look at that, how long it took to save. We got a lot done.